and card break room on the internet, you've come to the right place. Welcome to Ultimate Autographs Live Break Room. Tonight's action will move fast, so we want to prep you for what you're about to see on your screen. First, the all-important dice roll number. At the top of the show, the host will randomize a series of numbers. The number selected from the randomizer will become the dice roll number for the entire show. Meaning every mystery box that is broken, the names of every collector will be placed on a list and randomized using the dice roll number for the show. Next, you see this black ticker down here? This shows you which numbers are still available in each and every Ultimate Autographs mystery box series. When a break fills or sells out, the host will ask for a number. This is where you make your selection from. Simply type a number in the chat and the host will pick the first number they see. Throughout the show, you may see two different types of breaks, divisional and top spot. Divisional breaks are most common. In this format, all eight individuals who enter a football theme break will be positioned next to one of eight football divisions after their names are randomized using the show's dice roll number. When the mystery box is opened, the football division of the team represented in that mystery box becomes the winning division. The lucky collector whose name is randomly placed next to that football division takes home the signed piece of authenticated memorabilia. Our top spot format is typically reserved for giveaways, college theme series, and non-football breaks. In a top spot break, all names are added to a list. They are randomized using the show's dice roll number. At the end of the randomization, the name at the top becomes the winner of the signed item or prize. Breaking sports memorabilia has never been easier or more fun than it is in Ultimate Autograph's live break room. Remember, every mystery box series you see on the show can also be purchased as a personal mystery box that is either shipped directly to your home for you to open, or you can request to have it opened on a future Ultimate Autograph's live breaks broadcast. Also, while you're waiting for your break to fill, we encourage you to look around ultimateautographs.com to see if you find a piece of memorabilia you love and want to add to your collection. And don't forget, every live break spot you purchase automatically earns you 6% back in UA cash that you can later exchange for a mystery box or a signed item of your choosing. All right, the time has come. Let's break some certified, authentic sports memorabilia in Ultimate Autographs Live Break Room. Tell them, boys. How's it going, everybody? Welcome to the UA Live Break Room. Thank you guys for joining us. I'm Donnie. That's Joe. We're excited to be here for tonight. And I uh, see some comments. People are saying, hopefully it goes a little bit better than this <laughs> afternoon. And uh, we agree with that as well. Hopefully it does. I know we had a little bit of internet issues earlier. Garrett was here grinding we solved them i think sounds and looks good on my end so we're gonna roll right into it guys we're not gonna waste any time we got the ohio virginia game up on one screen right now ohio clings to a five point lead with 43 seconds left that's a 13 seed potentially about to take out a five seat or uh, a four seat ohio about to take out uh, virginia the reigning ncaa champion virginia so let's get into it ua live breaks let's get our dice roll it's got to be an eight or higher Ooh, five and six. That's an eleven. That's high numbers the last high, couple. Yeah, nights. I've noticed that too. We've gotten some high numbers as of recent. So you guys know the rules. Thank you to that cool intro video that we just put together. Sean Norman says triple jersey break. Sean, we did fill up that triple jersey break. That's cool. Uh, we did post another jersey. We got a lot of stuff posted right now. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, eight. different series posted for tonight. Here we go. You guys would like to give us a box number for a train football break number one. A train autographed football series. And if you guys are in, uh, I heard your whole sentence in under 20 minutes. I heard your whole sentence in under 20 minutes. What do you mean, Dave? What is that? What do you think, Joe? What? I am, uh, I'm not sure what you mean there, Dave. I heard your whole sentence in under 20 minutes. I'm trying to decipher that. Mm. 9, 10, 11. There we go. There we go. I need baseball tonight. No baseball Ooh, stuff No baseball. Tonight. No baseball on the on the break schedule for tonight, but we have a ton of football products. First break is going to be 42. Giovanni, 4200523. That is Brian Sebastian. Here we go. 42. 
So what number did you call? Uh, 42. 42 for the A-Train football. Uh, Brian, not a box number that we have. Not a box number that we have. If you'd like to give us a different one. We have, in the room, we have 5, 12, and 13. A-Train football break. And Ohio State's going to pull this off, Joe. Oh, oh, I keep saying Ohio, Ohio State. Ohio you. Ohio. That's uh, that's not typically a good basketball school. I feel like, I feel yeah, like they're the American kind of Conference, Bobcats. Sort of under the know, radar school. You don't school. Really think of uh, them as a basketball power. Right. They, they got the bragging rights this weekend. Huh? They do. In Ohio. Good team. Good team. Oh, they're up five with 20 seconds. So, I mean... Oh, it's not stopping and stuttering for every word and then pausing for two hours. That's that's good. That's, that's, that's good news. Trust the process. Very Joel Embiid of us. Uh oh. Virginia up three with thir or down three, 13 seconds. Uh oh. You got a ball game. That's what I love about NCAA March Madness. The right. No game. You know when games are over, right? You could say, okay, this game's done. When a number one seed is up 35 on a 16, 12 minutes to go in the half. This game's done. Here we go. JSA COA. But once you get these middle-of-the-road teams, 13s, 12s, 11s, me and Joe were talking earlier, the 8-9 games are always fun. You just never know what is going to happen. Here we go. We have ourselves a Kansas City Chiefs white panel football for break number one going to David Jennings Braddock. Kansas City Chiefs, it is their speedy wide receiver and one of the best in the NFL. That is Tyreek the Cheetah mm. Hill. David Braddock. There you go. There you go. David, good congrats. Start. Good hit. Good start for the night. It's a very good start. We'll take that. David B. A-Train, number one. And, guys, thank you again for joining us on this Saturday night rendition of some UA Live Breaks. Cody Butler says, only number that matters is Ohio plus seven. Cody, I'm thinking <laughs> I'm thinking that you've got that one in the bag. <laughs> so my parlay today was ruined because Kansas, Kansas was minus 10 at the beginning of the game. Okay, They were winning by 11 with about 15 seconds left. The team they were playing against hit a layup that didn't matter at the buzzer. Can you believe there that, you Joe? Oh, that, that's what happened. I was at my house screaming. <laughs> cost me. Cost me another parlay. That's two days in a row. We're going to pick four or five team parlays, hit four out of five, and some, wow. some BS on the fifth one. So I'm done with March Madness this year. I've given up. My bracket's busted. My bets aren't winning. Uh, whoever wins, congrats. I don't care. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of brackets busted after a, an Ohio State loss yesterday, right? That's exactly right. The Mine Oral is. Roberts. Mine is. To Oral Roberts, that's correct. All right. Here we go. If you guys like to give us a box number for the bus, number one, the bus. Number one, that's a single box break. These are the high-end, uh, pretty cool wooden crate mini helmet series. Those are big free throws right now. Kylan, 35. Kylan, thank you for calling out the box number. We appreciate that. 35. Cody says that will clinch my 16. Cody, who'd you have? LSU looked impressive today. LSU looked good. Michigan looked good. Did Gonzaga play it, or do they play tonight? Not sure. If I'm not mistaken, I think Gonzaga plays a little bit later tonight. I have Ohio in the Sweet 16. Big time out of Ohio. 35 for the bus mini. Thirty-five. Alright, guys, here we go. We're moving quick. We pre-filled a bunch of boxes, so trying to get through the pre-fills and we can move towards some live fills, do some doubles and triples. And whatnot. Nice hit right here. Back at COA. Got some NFL news to talk about as well. We got a big signing today. We'll get right into that. Check this out. How about that? A little Cincinnati Bengals. Wide receiver. Rookie T. Higgins. T. Higgins. Going to the AFC North for Terry Briner. Terry Briner. I said Terry. That's our... Uh, that, he's buddies with Dennis Dayton, Terry Briner, in, okay. the, in the gold okay. room. He's big in the gold room. Nice. Now he's got a nice little Bengals mini. There you go, Terry. Terry B. <whistles> oh, 
Ohio points, Grand Canyon points, Florida State and Michigan to win. Eastern Washington and UC Santa Barbara took the points. There you go. Eastern Washington won on the layup. So, Cody, you won and I lost because of that layup. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks. It was so pointless. Like, don't even you don't have to shoot. Yeah, yeah. Terry, nice hit. T. Higgins Eclipse signed in orange for the Cincinnati Bengals. We had 13 for the A train. 35 for that. Moving right along. Moving right along, Joe. We're going to do complete. Let's do complete helmet. Let's do complete helmet. We got Kylan. We got Jordan. We got Chris, Jason, Chris Castleman, Cody Butler, and Roberto Guerra. If you guys would like to give us a box number four. Guerra. Is that Guerra? Yeah. Roberto Guerra. I like that name. I like the way you said that, Joe. I would never be Mexican able to, in me. I, I would never, out. never, ever be able to say it like that. <laughs> Roberto. Guerra. You can do it. Come on. Guerra. There you go. You got uh, it. I, I took Spanish one. I was you in did. Spanish for one year. You didn't take Chinese four like our buddy Johnny? Johnny. <laughs> I actually took four years of French in high school. You did? Yeah. Oui. Well, good for you. I haven't used it since. <laughs> I haven't used my, it my since. My daughter took... Uh, She's finishing up, too. She took three years of French. Yeah? Yeah. Never heard her say a French word in the house <laughs> ever. <laughs> That's why my parents used to say the same thing. Like, hey, what'd you, what'd you learn in French today? And I'd be like, uh, you wouldn't understand whatever I learned in French today. <laughs> Jay says, what's up with the Cubs minor leaguer today? Did you hear about oh, that? Yeah. What are you thinking, bro? Did you hear about that? 20, of meth? 21 pounds? 21 pounds of meth. Of methamphetamine? <laughs> and then 1.8 pounds of hydro or hydrocodone? Hydrocodone? I, you hope, like, none of his teammates are involved in that. 40, oh, 21 goodness. pounds of it? Cody, thanks for calling out boxers. When I saw that headline, I was like, is that a typo? Yeah, right? I have never, okay, I have to admit, I've never seen meth. I've never held it. I can't even imagine what a lot of 21 pounds of it would be like. Right. That's got to be a lot. I, I saw a picture of it. He's like a big, in a duffel bag or something. You have a picture? I saw it on uh, social media. I think it's Twitter or something. That's my news source. Twitter's my news source. Man. 21 yeah. pounds. That's like, no it's small like, amount. Uh, it's like three plus uh, authentic helmets. Yeah. Like, that's a lot. <laughs> He's lugging around five <laughs> speed authentics. <laughs> Here we go. Going to the NFC East. That's a nice hit. Cowboys Eclipse. Mr. Mel Renfro. Mel Renfro going to Jordan Ioka. The helmet one you just opened there? Yes, sir. Ioka. I said Jordan. 21 pounds. Is that like, that's a federal, that's got to be God, federal offense. Yeah. That is no small charge, I'm assuming. I mean, was he a AAA guy, right? No, I, I don't even think, I'd never I heard, heard of him. I've heard his name before. Yeah? Because I, I know him, because I think we pulled some of his Bowman stuff. Oh, I was, I was going to jokingly say, did you pull one of his cards? And you yeah. did. I'm pretty sure we did. Is that right? I'm sure it's sitting in the household of Robert Turley right now. <laughs> <laughs> Turley, you might want to ship that off, my man. He gone. Oh, the value price just went up. He gone. I'm sure someone will buy it for oh, fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jordan, congrats. That's an Eclipse Speed Rep, and that's a nice hit. All right, so we got... Let's do the Terminator. Don't forget about that triple jersey, too. Gotcha. That'll be after the Terminator. That'll be after the Terminator. If you guys want to give us a box number for the Terminator. Terminator's a Platinum Helmet Series. Looking for only Authentics in that series. Excited about that. That's one of our best-selling series. That'll be moving through on that. We've got a backup series ready to go, so we're excited about just releasing a bunch of cool new headliners and stuff and new series. And Proud of what we put together for this Platinum Series. I, I love this series. Aaron Donald is a name that we never see in the industry. Yeah, and, and we got a lot of Aaron lot Donald of, product lot. now. So yeah. if you miss out on the Aaron Donald, we will have it in future series yeah. because uh, and that's cool. I like I like Aaron Donald. He's oh yeah he's likable yeah. and he's extremely good at football. Uh, football. Oh. Yeah, three-time Defensive Player of the Year now. I mean, there were people that thought he was too small to play. You know, I think he went like, think he went like 10th or 11th overall in the draft, I think. Really? Uh, but, yeah. But. Rob Gazmick. <laughs> Is this you, Robert, in the NFC South? Please confirm. Just want to make sure that the people in the break are calling out box numbers. As always. Tell you what, man. Michigan's down four with five seconds left. Michigan has the ball inbounding. They need a quick three. I don't know. This is not looking good for Michigan. Two, 
one. There's your three. Ball game. Ohio has Ooh. beat the Virginia Cavaliers. Ohio has taken down the Virginia Cavaliers. That's big. Wow. That is big. All right, here we go. Stream looks good, Joe. 20. That was about from Rachel. 20. Um, Rob. 20, yes. Man. Virginia goes down the reigning champ for seed Virginia. Done. Beaten by Ohio. Joe, I picked them in our bracket, by the way. You picked Ohio? I picked Ohio. You did. Really? Wow. Oh. Here we go. I'm towards the bottom in that because I had Ohio State going so far. But damn. How many perfect brackets left? Chris Gibbs. Uh, he would guess zero. That's a pretty yeah, good guess. Right? I bet less than 50. Out of what? 100 million? Something I mean, like that? You took Oral Roberts. I mean, if you did, tough. let us know. And and you took Ohio and... and yes. Yeah. Right? Here we go. Oh, this is an awesome hit. This is a uh, 49ers. This is a throwback pro line. Roger Craig. Hmm. Roger Craig. I like this little inscription, too. The 1,000 of 1,000 in 1985. He rushed for 1,000 yards and received 1,000 ah. yards. 1985. That's cool. Good running back for the 49ers. Going to the NFC West. That's George Dredge. George D. Roger Craig, pro line. George, nice hit. Terminator 1. Terminator 1. Name the Terminator because Aaron Donald's nickname is indeed the Terminator. Yeah. Not a lot of people know that, but... Honestly, I, I did not either. Good old Google. I had, to, I, I had to look it up. Like the Terminator. Johnny Schwarzenegger, uh, tight end of the Rams. Yeah. That's, that's all I thought. I'd... Johnny Schwarzenegger. Johnny yeah. Schwarzenegger, good kid. Good great kid. great ball player. Oh, yeah. Standout ball player from <laughs> Virginia Tech. <laughs> Scholar kid. <laughs> George, nice hit. Congrats on the Roger Craig. Any, any throwback 49er has some good value. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's see what we got next. Let's see what's next. All right, so we have the script is full over there. I'm going to do that triple. I know Sean Norman wants that triple. Sean Norman in the triple? Sean missed out on the triple. Because that was the carryover from last night, and then it's filled. Okay. And then we never got to it this right. afternoon because Let's of the technical that. issue. So. Let's do that. And some so of those guys have bought into that last night. You posted it. Sure. Yeah. Matt Sala says, I think Sean McVay gave him that nickname. Oh, okay. I is didn't that know true? That. Sean McVay is super young, isn't he? He's in the coach yeah. of the Rams. But maybe, went, maybe when he took over as coach of the Rams. Right? Because McVay, is, is this his third or fourth year now, McVay? Yeah, that's true. Year, so. That's a good point. That's a good point. Sean McVay is a good coach. Oh, yeah, yeah. Very successful. I want a nickname from Sean McVay. Right? I would love to have a good nickname from Sean yeah. McVay. Probably. He, probably, he, would probably, he seems quiet, He though. would probably call you the, the, the Don Father. I love that. already taken. I love that. We've already named him the Don Father. I think that Sean McVay is a quiet guy. I don't see him having a large personality outside of football. Well, you know, he's not the he's the impeccable memory guy. You know, he could uh, recite. You can like uh, week three of uh, <laughs> the twenty seventeen season, third down and four. What'd you call? He, like he remembers the play. You know, really? Yeah, he's uncanny. I saw a TikTok video of a of a kid who could name any score. From any baseball, any Yankees game since like 1980. Really? And he was like 15. No kidding. He knew, or I'm sorry, since I'm sorry, since the year 2000, he knew every score of every Yankees game and who pitched, and who was the opposing team starting pitcher. It was insane. I have no to find kidding. it. It was awesome. Joe, I'll show it to you. 1927 and 29. Justin Botter calling out box numbers. He's like, someone's like. And then there was one where they asked him, and he was like, 
they didn't play. They were on the All Star break at that time. I was like, wow, man, this kid's amazing. Wow. Now I know you can fake a lot of videos. Right? I know, but there are people that have that kind of um, yeah, uh, insane uh, memory. Insane memory. Mary Lou Henner, you know her? Okay. Yeah, she's an actress. No. She's a little older than me. She's like probably sixties now. Mary Lou Henner. So she, she's one. Like, she can remember every day of every year. Like you could say November 14, uh, 2017. Really? She knows, yeah. There are people like Like that. she knows what day of the week it is? Yeah, what day of the week it is. It was a Tuesday. I guess like, what? Cool. Cool. She's right. Yeah. How do they know that? DJ Braddock, thanks for the great football. Thank you. We got a Darius Leonard jersey here. It's one of my favorite players. He's awesome. Yeah. Darius Leonard for the Colts. Middle linebacker, defensive rookie of the year, 2018. Nicknamed the Maniac. Like that. That's going to the AFC South for Ryan Bird. Darius Leonard. Nice. That's good. That goes to Ryan Berg. I remember, guys, when I'm breaking and Ryan Berg is involved, you got to chalk one up for him because him and I are automatic. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I don't know what it is about Ryan and I. We just we just click. That's it, Ryan. So the spread on Gonzaga is what plus or minus thirty three? I want to say. Did it for tonight? Minus minus thirty three. Yeah. Twenty seven of fifty. <laughs> That's got to be one of the largest spreads in college basketball. Tonight. That's a tough one because you know. You seen you Gonzaga play? You fall off the dogs a little bit, and then they, they, you know, That's exactly they right. That's exactly so. I would call that. Um, what is it called when it's like? It seems almost too good. What is it called? Oh, the betting vernacular. Yeah, there's like terminology for like. It's almost like a. Well, they're trying to get one over on you because it seems too good. What the hell's the word? Someone for in it? the chat will know. Someone will know that. Twenty-seven to fifty. Back in COA. Next hit, going to the pack. Go, pack, go. Two current guys in a row. We have a wide receiver. Joseph Burke. This is Marquez Valdez Scantling. MVS had a breakout year. What is yeah. that terminology called? Where it's like... Someone in the jet has to know that one. I, I know that. I don't know why. I can't be. I was disappointed in myself. MVS for the pack. Ch a chump? A chump bet? No. Not a chump bet. A ch Ra Rojo, 24, as a Packers fan. I do not like MVS. Interesting. As a Packer fan, he doesn't. Well, he wasn't very good the last two years. Uh, he's just a really big, well? big play for Red. I mean, you know, right? He averaged the most yards per catch in the NFL last year. He did. The best season. Yeah. That's nice when you have, you know, quarterback, Eight. like, number 12. Yeah. Right? Yeah. He also, like, yeah, he had four 60-yard touchdowns. That's helpful. I remember he had a big drop against the Bears, like, wide open. Would have been six. He also had a huge fumble against the Colts that cost oh, him the Oh, right, game. right. But... Good wide receiver. Doesn't hurt the autograph value when you're catching touchdowns from Aaron Rodgers. Exactly. What the hell is that called? Oh, man. A trap. Ah, a trap bet. Look at George. George, five dollars. Hey, George, five dollars in UA cash for George. <laughs> it's a trap bet. That's it. Because Gonzaga's gonna go up forty. They're gonna put the you know, put the <laughs> put the bench in. Not saying the bench is a bad group of players. Have you seen Gonzaga play this year, Joe? I have not. But they are unquestionably the top team in college basketball, right? It's like yeah, undisputed. everyone loves Illinois, especially here. But but um, so the the big thing about this year is uh, Illinois beatable, Michigan beatable. Uh, who's the other number one? Baylor beatable. You know? Yeah. Um, Gonzaga tough team to beat. Tough team to beat. 
And uh, that's the only team that's undefeated going into the tournament. PSA COA. PSA COA. We got Pat Summerall. Cool hit. This is yeah. nice. This is a really cool hit. This is going to be a New York Giants custom jersey. This is really cool. Known broadcaster. Broadcast some games with John Madden in his career. Day, yeah. Pat Summerall. The late Pat Summerall. That's awesome. Yeah. Justin Barter, that is a great hit. Dude. It is cool. And we don't have many of those. Maybe a couple? I don't, I don't think we have... Uh, this might not be... Yeah, this might be one might be the of only one. three, if ever. Yeah. So that's cool. So you might have to fill me in. How was he as a player? He, he was, you know, a kicker. Okay. Uh, well, he back in those, those days when he played, guys did play multiple positions. But I don't think he was a great player. He's not in the NFL Hall of Fame. He's a kicker with the number 88? Kicker, yeah. I think kicker maybe... Again, he must have played another position a little bit, but... Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. That's Summerall for the Giants. Kylan says he's still alive. Is he? Guys, that'd be horrible. If he is, I apologize. If he's watching, we apologize. Well, let me see. Let me see. All right. Well, because... That's a cool hit. That's a cool hit for the sentimental value. Today. Pat Summerall, New York Giants hit. Very cool hit. No, he yeah, he passed in 2013. Pat Summerall. Pat Summerall. So Joe was right. Kylan was wrong. Uh, Kylan, eat that. Try don't try to don't try to correct my, my man my Joe. Goodness, that would, that would have been really embarrassing. Don't not not that I haven't, I haven't embarrassed myself before, mind you. Uh, <laughs> he was he was 82. He died in 2013. Played at Arkansas. Oh, there you go. It's a Razorback. A Razorback. Also, uh, Dan Hampton played at Arkansas. Yes, yes. Hampton, he was drafted in 1952. Wow. The great right. Pat Summerall. We got the script. We have a Sweeping Oak. Good good username. Um, what can you use the UA Cash on? That's a great question. So you can use the UA Cash on both bricks, on mystery boxes, from the mystery box tab, and you can also use it on retail items. So you can you can use the UA Cash on virtually anything, as far as I'm, I'm well aware of. I know that you can use it towards breaks. You can use it on retail items, and then you can use it uh, to put towards credit on a, on a mystery box, if that's what you're looking for. All righty, we got script one. Let's get a box number for script one. We just did what? Come on, box numbers here. We just did uh, 1927, 29. Joe, let me know when we fill up Terminator 2. Okay. Because I want to do Terminator 3 as a double. Okay. We just filled up Helmet 3. Complete Helmet 3? Yeah. Awesome. Let's get a box number for the script. George Dredge, 23 MJ. George. How you doing, George? Uh, Adrian says Rookie of the Year 1. Do we do Rookie of the Year? Adrian. Uh, we have not. We have not. Did that fill up? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. If it did, we'll get that list updated for you, Adrian. We'll run that break as well. If it filled up, it just filled up, I think. Sorry, Adrian. I don't know if you commented earlier. I might have missed your comments, but we have not done a rookie of the year mini helmet break yet. Yeah, it, it, it is sold out now, so we will we will break that yep. soon. Yep, we'll get that list updated, Adrian. We'll get that on the screen, and we'll do that break very soon. Let's get a box number 23 for the script. Ooh, Joe feels heavy. Heavy, got some bulk there. Feels like a Chicago Cubs minor league pitcher back there. <laughs> 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 Uh, you do A-Train Football 1, Joe Burke, we did. Let me quickly scroll back. A-Train 1, that was David Braddock, hit a Tariq Hill. Tyreek Hill. Uh, post another triple jersey. Sean Norman wants in on a triple jersey. We fill up the next jersey. We have no problem posting some triples. Let Joe get settled in and let him catch up. Orders are flying in. We appreciate it. Here we go. We got the script. This is uh, current stars, former players, pro lines, reps, special helmets, Everything will feature a unique inscription. JSA COA. Here we go. Here we go. It is Mark Brunel. The 1996 NFL passing 
leader. That's a nice hit. That is a Riddell Speed Authentic as well. Very cool to find a Speed Authentic in that series. Go to the AFC South for George. George, call out the box number. What's up, Justin? Justin Schuster. Got to be happy about Juju Smith-Schuster re-signing to the Pittsburgh Steelers. Georgie. Justin says, anyone looking for a Randy Moss camo? Wow. Mm. Yes. Justin, if you want to leave that at my door, <laughs> I'll make sure it has a nice home. That's a really cool item <laughs> if you have that. Randy Moss. So I saw a video come across. I think it was it was an Instagram post from, like, House of Highlights, and they said, do you remember when these famous players played for this team? Um, and they showed a couple guys, like, you – you would have never guessed that they like they showed Randy Moss on the Titans. Okay. They showed. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh yeah, love that. Very cool. They showed Wes Welker on the Rams. I think that was another one of them. Okay. Um, let's do Jersey. Let's do. Uh, get these lists updated. Let's see what we can do next. Let's do Complete Helmet Two. Let's run and do Complete Helmet Two. They showed a couple good ones. Justin said I would give it to you over the Bear. I'll take that as a compliment. Complete Helmet 2, here we go. Derek, Ryan, Michael, John Ogden, Justin Botter, Josh Dyer, Anthony Ibarra. How do you say it, Joe? Ibarra? Ibarra. Ibarra. You got it. Sometimes you got to roll the R. Sick, you got it. Figure it out. Complete 2, let's get a box number. We got 43 and 37. If we post number 4, I'll run and grab some more boxes. We only have three in the room when we started. John Ogden says, I've seen it. It's sick. That's cool. I would like to see that. I'm sure you'll find a buyer for a Randy Moss item. That is not hard. Randy is very loved. Randy played for the Tennessee Titans in his career. Sick. Isn't that totally weird? did not know that. That's so weird. You didn't know that? Randy Moss? Yeah. No. Let's see how he... Let's Gosh. See. We, we had that conversation a few months back. Like, would you want the Hall of Fame player... On your favorite team, the jersey or helmet, whatever, even though he wasn't, you know, that Hall of Fame level sure. when he played for your guys. Like Orlando Pace. Sure. His last year with the Bears, he was yeah. done by then. But Orlando Pace signed Bears helmet jersey. That would be cool. Bobby Orr played for the Blackhawks at the end of his career. If I had a Bobby Orr signed Blackhawks puck, mm -hmm. even though Bobby Orr was a Bruin, is yeah. a Bruin, yeah. it would be cool to have that. I would dig that. So... I don't know how, how people feel about that, but different. Here's an interesting fun fact for you, Joe, to, to balance to, to go on that. Uh, Randy Moss started his career with the Vikings, played 12 seasons with them. He, uh, or he, sorry, he played eight years with the Vikings, and then he went and played one season with the Raiders. He played three seasons with the Patriots. I remember that. He played one season with the Tennessee Titans, and then finished his career with the San Francisco 49ers. I see. He played. Uh, he appeared in 16 games for them. 28 catches. For the, uh, three, three the for the 49ers. For the 49ers, right. I never knew that he played for the 49ers. 37. Thirty-seven. Thank you, Justin, for continuing to call out the box numbers. Much appreciative of that. Let's rock. Let's rock. Let's find some more fire in here. Come on. Yep. 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 Headliner every day of the week, in my opinion. Joe and I drool over this guy's signature every time he comes across this table. New York Jets. Great running back. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Curtis Martin. And that is 100% Curtis Martin. How beautiful. I can't. At all. That's like penmanship Hall of Fame. I try to talk about First it. First ballot. I feel like. It's almost like, Donnie, you talk about Curtis Martin too much, man. <laughs> I love talking about his autograph and, and what it means like in the industry because it's so. I love this helmet. I love this helmet. Does I know I mean ultimately it's the it's the player that is most valuable valuable right but 
How much is a clean signature? Does it add any value? Sure. People? I think so. I would personally pay more for a clean signature. I mean, I, I would. Like, I love that more than, you know, clean auto. But I didn't know if it does it add value as far as just sure. when you want to sell it, however you sure. want to sell it. That's a great question. I think for a true collector, you know, if you're a Jets collector, you'd probably pay more for a Curtis Martin rather than, I don't know, per se, like a Frank Gore. Like someone that was very good on the team, mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, you just got to have that, that eye-popping piece. Like another good Jets player. Uh, it's really hard to think of good Jets players right now at the top of my head. I don't know why. Um, but I don't know. I would rather have someone that takes their time and writes their autograph rather than someone that may have performed a little bit better on that roster. I, I agree. I agree with that. I don't know why I thought Frank Gore was the first person I thought of, but I'm sure that Curtis Martin had a better career with them than, than Frank Gore for the Jets, but that's just who came to my head. Uh, we're going to run Rookie of the Year. Rookie of the Year number one, since we are getting back around to that now. We got Josh Mills, Kyle M., Chris Castleman, Anthony Ibarra. We got Roberto Guerra. Guerra. Jeff Gosselin, Brad Meir, and Derek Pitch. Did you did you say you wanted to run a uh, Terminator? Let's do a double. Yes. So that'll be Terminator three. Yes. Terminator two is sold out. Awesome. So we will do Terminator three as a, a double. double double box break, Joel. Let's do it. I got you. And we got twenty eight. Joey, we did not do Terminator two yet. No. We are doing uh, our breaks kind of number. What's up, Nate Hoover? Nate, did you ever find anyone to play uh, Madden with you? Nate was pushing for somebody to play Madden with him last night. <laughs> we got uh, 28. You guys want to give us one more Rookie of the Year? Mini helmets. We got more boxes than 28. We got these. So let me update this as well. We got 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 34, 38, I believe. Those are the box numbers. Adrian says, I bought into Rookie of the Year number one. It was on the list when the stream crashed earlier today, but I'm not on the list now. Adrian, uh, we did do Rookie of the Year break number one when we were live earlier today. Uh, if you want to go back and recheck the video, you can, because Garrett uh, did do Rookie of the Year number one while he was live this afternoon. Um, I, I can try I to find tell you. Yeah, I can tell you. Um, and who was that uh, in the chat there? Adrian. Adrian, if you want to know yeah. the results, let us know in the chat. Adrian Otherwise, you can, you can go back and rewatch yeah, it. Adrian, so. you did, did not win, but it was it was Ryan Burge and uh, David Braddock who won that Rookie of the Year mini number one. Yeah, so we just did two breaks this afternoon. We had some internet issues. Uh, so we did that, and we did a uh, helmet, complete helmet. We just, did, we just opened three boxes this afternoon. So we did break mini uh, number one this afternoon. Oh, you did you gave him a spoiler alert, man. Sorry. Yeah, we gotta, you have to go back and watch it. I was, uh... <laughs> were, you, were you gonna make him go watch it yeah. the YouTube? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rollins! I was gonna make him say, hey, go check out our YouTube page. While you're you at still, it. You can still do that. While you're at it, check out the podcast. Check out our new that. ads that we posted to the to the website. Joe, why you spoiled it? <laughs> you can still go to the yeah. webpage you and can. use all the and you better. website and YouTube. Nice hit. Got a Chicago Bear legend here. A guy who has been voicing his opinion quite a bit on Twitter about the Chicago Bears. Lance Briggs oh, yeah. on the Eclipse. That guy is not afraid to tweet about no. the Chicago Bears. No, he's not afraid to talk. He loves it. No. And we love him for that. He's a great follow. Kyle, good hit, man. Lance Briggs, Eclipse. 50788. He said, okay, thank you for the update. Yeah, no problem, Adrian. Thank you for uh, checking in, man. We appreciate yes. it. Sorry that Joe spoiled it. <laughs> the Schuster family isn't greedy, and we love our home. Home towns. I love you, Juju. <laughs> yeah. Twenty-eight, thirty-one. Here we go. It's a night. Oh, Joe. Who we got? First ever wide receiver drafted number one overall. It's not a refryer. 
It is Irving Fryer. Oh, no, he's the second. Is he the second? The second, yeah. There was some guy in the 60s. Me and Garrett just argued about this for like 30 minutes on Friday. Damn it, I don't understand who it is. Forget yeah. it. I'm never using that fun fact again. No, it's good. It's still a good nugget. There's only been three. Irving Fryer. Three. I'm mad. The other one was... Uh, Ke- carry on. Keyshawn Johnson. We got it. So Keyshawn I, so Fryer was the second, and then there was a guy in the 60s. Me and Garrett were live, and I told him that carry on, Keyshawn Johnson was the first ever wide receiver drafted number one overall. And he's like, oh. I don't think that's right. No, he, and I was like, Garrett, look it up. It's right. And then we looked he, it up totally wrong. And he's like, <laughs> and someone put it in the chat, uh, it's Irving Fryer. So then I took that, Irving Fryer. It's not Irving Fryer either. So I was it, wrong a, twice right, in a row. Now, now i got to so, look it up real quick. So that's good that I've been blatantly wrong in front of everybody, which is fun. Uh, any doubles or triples? Yep, yep, yep. We'll get that stuff posted. We are planning on getting a double um, Terminator, if that's not up already. It should be. It should be up. It should be up. Yeah. Uh, Chris Gibbs, that should be up on the page. Double, double Terminator. Irving Fryer for the Pats. Number one overall wide receiver draft pick. One of the first ever. And one of the only wide receivers to go number one overall. First one was in 1964. Dave Parks. Well, Dave I hope Parks out of Texas Tech, taken by the Niners. Texas he went, Tech? went to the Pro Bowl the first three years in the league. Dave Parks. Well, I'm glad I know that. Now you know. Now you know. I'm still going to get it wrong. Just for the inside joke of it. <laughs> <laughs> Kylan says, I'm surprised Detroit doesn't have a first round, first pick wide receiver. Do they, did they draft? No, you know what? Calvin Johnson was two. Overall? I think Calvin Johnson was drafted oh, second okay. overall. All right, we got uh, jersey number two, single box break. Single box break for the jersey. For the guys would like to give us a box number there. That was 2831. <laughs> All right, jersey number two, box numbers, ready to go. Hey, fellas, I can't find the Rookie of the Year break on YouTube from this afternoon. Could you share what I hit? Not urgent. Joe, do you remember what Ryan Berg hit in that break? Uh, I, I don't. What was this afternoon? Was it the helmet or the uh, the mini? The mini, I believe. The mini. Did you bring the boxes back? Oh, room? I did. I, I, could did. Ch- I could check. Ryan, I don't know off the top of my head right now, but uh, we can check, yes. He said, not urgent. Okay. All right, Justin wants 30. Justin, you are the MVP of calling out box numbers. Bang. That guy rocks. The 24, 26, 28 left here in the room for a jersey. 26, 28, 24. Kylan put in the chat, ignoring you. Okay, that's good. Do that all you'd like. A lot of people watch the stream on mute. You know that? Not at work, at the office, stream on mute, put it on the lap. Okay. All right. As long as you're watching. Yeah. I'm not sure who Kylan is ignoring, but if he's ignoring <laughs> it's one of us, I could understand why. We, we get it. All right. <laughs> 30 or 50, JSA, COA, here we go. My phone on... Oh, oh so we... Okay, it was, it was a butt dial. I understand. I understand. Next hit. Let's go. Oh, wow. This is super unique. This was the team he was actually drafted to. This is a Ricky Williams Saints hit. Oh, there you go. Drafted to the Saints. Yes. Right out of Texas. That was the, uh, the famous Ditka trade the whole draft for Ricky Williams. For Ricky Williams, yeah. That's exactly right. NSC South for the Saints going to Ricky Henderson. Gear Profit. What's up, Luigi? It's a cool jersey. I like the Saints. Saints gear. Yeah. Ricky Williams. (laughs) 
If it's on mute, how would I hear fire hit? That's a good point. <laughs> you wouldn't be able to hear that. Interesting enough, I might have just kicked something. I might have kicked it on the way by. It's fixed now. You can do it. Make sure. Okay. All right, complete helmet three. Let's run complete helmet three. Actually, you know what? Before we do that, let's do Terminator two. Uh, Sean Norman says Jersey three just filled. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Okay, so we'll do. Uh, let's do Jersey four as a triple, Joe. Okay. Like we'll that idea? It. We'll do it. Like that idea? So. Is, did it go? Uh, did it go on? Ah, oh, it's good. It was just zoomed out. Okay. All right. So we got Terminator Two, Flimp Ruckus. That's Ryan Campbell. I like that we, as we grow together here, we are recognizing more and more usernames. As people, yes. Because when you first come into the room and you, I know, I, I've had that. You problem. do the chat and it's like, who yeah. the heck is that guy? Now we know pretty much all of them, I think. Yeah. Now the next step is memorize. You, you're probably good at this already, but, uh, memorizing which guys who who's their team. Ah, I could tell you a lot of guys' teams. Yeah. Oh, there's some I forget. We see a lot of people coming through here, but I could probably tell you quite a bit of them. Yeah. All right, Terminator Two, box twenty four. Terminator 4, Terminator 3 is a double, correct, Joe? Terminator 3 is a double. Awesome. Yeah. Robbie says you still haven't done the alphabet breaks yet. <laughs> Sean Norman says, Sean Norman is a, uh, Sean Norman is a Patriots fan. Yes. Robbie says remember me yet? Robbie, of course, man. Of course I remember you. We haven't done those. We have not done the alphabet breaks yet, no. Here we go. Terminator 2, Platinum Helmet Break. Let's see if we can... Ooh, nice hit. Beckett COA. Let's see what we got. Ooh, nasty. AFC South going to the Titans. That's a beautiful helmet. That is beautiful. Anthony Luigi right there going to the AFC South. It is Javon the Freak. Curse on the Tennessee Titans. Speed Authentic. Boom. Anthony, that's a beauty. Terminator 2. That's awesome. I love this Titans gear. That blue, red. Yeah, it's good luck. That combo. I like how they have two different shades of blue. Yes. That baby blue and that darker blue. That red, that's great. Joey Lopez says, I haven't hit in a while. I need a win. Joey, it always shows up, man. Need a dub. Need a dub. Need a dub. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do... Let's do... What's next? All right, so we filled up Jersey 3. We have complete helmet 3 yeah. uh, ready to go on the screen. Let's do helmet 3. Let's do Hunter. We got one box left in here. We'll do 43. We'll do 43. That's what I've got left in here. Uh, Patriots spending money to finish behind the Jets. I'm out, boys. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, see ya. Robbie says, Donnie has yet to get me a dub. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Robbie, I'm trying. Don't worry. I'm always trying. 
Uh, has seeing double number one or complete three happened yet? LOL. We are doing complete three now. Doing three now. All right, here we go. Who's playing right now in the NCAA? We'll check on that after this box. 43 of 60. <laughs> 43. If we post more complete helmets, I'll go grab more boxes. Not sure if you did post another one, Joe. The uh, helmet? Yeah. I have, um, what do I have up? Tell me right after I show off our hit. We have our Kansas City Chiefs guy out of LSU. Wide receiver going to Justin Barter. Dwayne Bow. Dwayne Bow. Joe, can you explain something to me? How is Kansas City in the AFC West? It always throws me. That couldn't I'm be used Nick, to it now if you're working here. That can be more Midwest. Right. Uh, it just like that is the epitome of the Midwest. The West no. Yeah. And the other one, obviously, Indianapolis Colts being in the AFC South. Right. Right. How I, do they? I, I know. It's just not not enough teams in certain parts of the uh, too many teams in certain parts of the. I'm not understanding. Because I was in Missouri last weekend, like I told you. And, yeah, the Ozark. Um, like the Ozark. So many Chiefs fans. And I was like, why the hell are there so many Chiefs fans? And I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah, you're not that far <laughs> from there. Yeah. Right? Yeah, just, just a little northwest. I mean, Kansas City is in Missouri, not Kansas. Well, it, which it, is weird. It's split. So there's Kansas City, Kansas, and Kansas City MO. Okay. Yeah. And the Chiefs play in Missouri. Yes. Okay. Yes. Right next to... Uh, it's still called Coffin Stadium, the Royal Stadium. The Royal Stadium, that is called Coffin Stadium, yes. Uh, okay, I'm going to post that uh, triple jersey again. So we'll do triple jersey. Tad says, have you done the script one from the early show? Tad, we did. We did. Tad, you were in that. The winner was George in a uh, Mark Brunel. Mark Brunel. All right, let's run the A train. Let's run a football break. Uh, why is Miami in the east? I think they're in the east. That's more East Coast than Indianapolis yeah, is. Yeah, you think more the South, but but yeah, I hear you. My girl got the mail today, and I got four boxes from you guys, and she's like, what's this? I was like, I don't know. It must be a donation. I'll <laughs> 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 well, just say she didn't believe me. She thinks my collection is too big. Hey. Hey, no at, such thing. At least you've got evidence to say you are winning. That's it. Right? That's right. And then you can say, hey, I'm going to turn all these helmets into a necklace. And you're off the hook forever. For some, someday my kid will have all these things. Mm -hmm. You've always got excuses. Yeah. Always got excuses. <laughs> That's funny. Complete helmet. We'll have to go get more boxes. Uh, if we have another one of those, Joe. Which one? A complete helmet. You have a helmet. Four, you have a four um, posted. What do, we, uh, what, do we, what do we have on the helmet? You have so many things posted. I know. Eight, it's a lot. Eight things. I know. Yeah, we've run through three helmets. So I'll post a four. Is that what they're asking? Yeah, let's do a double on that. A double for number four. Correct. On the helmet. Okay. Correct. Uh, let's let me get that uh, triple jersey. Up. Okay. And then we'll uh, proceed. All right. So we have a box number for A train number two. A train number two. Two boxes left in here. Five and twelve. How many spots in seeing double? We haven't done seeing double yet. I think it has eight spots left. I'm not gonna lie. No, or I think I think there's actually like four or five oh. left. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's good. That's good. Let me see what we got for right now. Right now we got Gonzaga playing Norfolk. We got BYU and UCLA. Um, L, uh, what is that? LB. Let's see. Let's see, we got some scores. Yeah, the jersey's going to be a triple. Did I say that? Yep. I want to see a live bracket. All right, so we have who else won tonight? Uh, 
Maryland beat UConn by nine. Uh, we had Florida State win today. Colorado won. LSU won. Michigan won. Iowa won. Only by 12. They were up in that game big like the whole time. Uh, Oregon did win over VCU by default. VCU could not oh, yeah, participate yeah. because of COVID. Uh, Kansas won over East Washington by nine. Uh, Creighton won by one point. Big big game for Creighton. So they'll play Ohio in the uh, second round. Let's see. We get a box number for a train. I can randomize the two. We just have five and 12 if you guys would like to give me one of the two. We got Luigi. We got Dennis. We got Thomas Hackney. We got Michael Walker with 12. Thank you. Number 12. Kylan says, I think AFC East should be Pats, Buffalo, Ravens, Jets. Oh, yeah, true. That is, that is, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Yeah, how did the, how did the Miami Dolphins get sucked into the AFC East? <laughs> right, right. All right. We got JSA COA there on the box. And our hit is headed to... Oh, nice! Good player. Running back out of Penn State. He's a champion of the PlayStation Fiesta Bowl. Behind uh, Saquon Barkley in his career at Penn State. This is uh, Miles Sanders. Good running back. Good player. High, high on the fantasy draft boards. Good player. PlayStation winner. PlayStation Bowl. College. I like that hit. That goes to the NFC East for Thomas Hackney. Thomas, good hit, man. That's nice. I like Miles Sanders. Yeah. Big news out of the NFL today. Big news out of the NFL today. Kenny Galladay finds a home in New York with the New York Giants. He got paid, too. Like, average he got $18 paid. million. He got paid. He got Allen Robinson money. Like, was it $40 million guaranteed, I think? He ended up getting, like, $80 million on his contract. Y yeah. So their offense is Daniel Jones, Saquon Barkley, Kenny Galladay, Sterling Shepard, Evan Ingram. It's not a terrible team. Yeah, they they get Saquon some... back from the ACL, and assuming he's you know, yep. good to go. Yep. All right, we got Jersey three. Single box break. Nate Hoover says, "How is Dallas in the East?" <laughs> yeah, that's true. That is the epitome of an NFC South team. Yeah, the epitome. Right. Because NFC South is Saints. Tampa Bay Buccaneers out in Florida. And then you've got the Falcons and the Carolina Panthers. I don't understand these divisions. Right. Sometimes I just get a little... Oh, Robbie said, how about Pat Peterson with the Vikes? Didn't he yes. start his career with the Vikings? No, uh, I don't think so. Going back to the Vikes? Because the Cardinals released him. Yeah, and the Vikes picked him up. Oh, Kyle Fuller signed with the Broncos today. Oh, he did. Re being reunited with Vic Fangio, who was his Good for him. defensive coordinator yeah. here in Chicago for a couple years. Guys, I don't know if you get to watch a ton of Kyle Fuller. We do here in the Chicagoland area. Kyle Fuller is a beast. He is. He's very good at football. I mean, the only reason he was cut was because he was owed $20 million this year. That so, is, that's the only reason. Yeah, He's so still in an elite corner. The idea is that they were like, hey, Kyle, we need you to take a pay cut for this season. And he was like, no thanks. I'm good. Yeah, because it would have been huge. It would have been a huge, huge pickup because they were way over cap. Yeah. And they were trying to go out and get Russell Wilson. It's not going to happen. Uh, D8X9, A6. That is David Barrar, 28. I did it again. I got to stop doing that. Kick that. Oh, on the camera? Yeah. All right, 28 single box break for Jersey 3. Kylan says the Bears QB is crap also. Yeah, we know. How's about Kyle Rudolph to the Giants? Is he going to the Giants too? Really? Is that true? Is that right? I didn't hear that one. 
Kyle Rudolph, the Indians fan. They're loading them on. Evan Ingram's a good tight end. Pro bowler. Uh, did he deserve to be the pro bowler in the NL, in the NFC? No. How Bob Tanya didn't get pro bowl on him. Ten touchdowns. Evan Ingram had one. Evan Ingram had one touchdown. Yeah, yeah the, the Pats. Or, or... Kind of like a fan favorite contest, right? Yeah, yeah. It's part of it. All right, here we go. JSA COA. Jersey. There he is. Left-handed quarterback out of Washington. Jaguars teal jersey. There he is, Mark Brunel. I like that jersey a lot. That looks so clean there. Yeah. So clean. Mark Brunel outlining gold. There we go. The AFC South gets a hit for Adrian Gonzalez. Adrian, good hit. Kylan says, I keep hearing Tampa back-to-back. -back. Well, they've got a good leader for two more years or three more years. Mr. Tom Brady. And as long as he's on the team, they have a chance, right? Okay. I think they're losing Leonard Fournette this year. They're not I, think, to resign him. I think Leonard Fournette may be gone. Um, I don't know. They did re-sign Chris Godwin. I don't think they're losing Mike Evans this year. We know Scotty Miller won't be going anywhere. All right, Jersey 3 in the books. Let's see if anything else is full as of right now. It doesn't look like it on my end. I'm sure stuff is filling up. We yeah, will. A lot of orders in. Come cool. In. Joe, take your time. We will get that stuff filled up as soon as we can. You got to remember, Joe's a one-man army over there. One so man. give give yeah. him a uh, give him a minute. Yeah, we got we a lot. Good. That's awesome. So we got Gonzaga Norfolk State right now, 13 point game in the uh, first round. Um, Oklahoma beat Missouri. Wow, Oklahoma beat Missouri by four. Good basketball game. Ohio beat Virginia. Creighton beat UCSB. What did I say their nickname was? Oh, the uh, Gauchos? The Gauchos from Santa Barbara. USC, the Trojans beat Drake today. Kansas beat. Eastern Washington, who scored the most points in college basketball today? Who scored the most points so far in college basketball? It was the Colorado Buffaloes. They put up 96 points over Georgetown, who looked horrible. Awful. Did they? They looked so bad. George, Georgetown did it? Yeah, coached by Patrick Ewing. They were off to a horrible start. One of the best three-point shooting teams in that conference, and they were like 1 of 10 at, for, at the end of the first half. I think he will. Everyone does. I, I think he's taking the saying, I will drive it till the wheels fall off, literally. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that from Mr. Brady. Tom will play until he can no longer throw. Yeah. All right, we're getting some stuff filled up on our end, guys. Give us a minute. While we have a quick second, let me go ahead and play the new promotional video for our A-Train football series. <laughs> Ball me, Blazer. Who's the ball is in your court? Just give me the ball. At Ultimate Autographs, we have balls. In the A-Train series, we have some of the most impressive balls you've ever seen. We're boasting signed footballs from Tyreek Hill, Nick Chubb, Curtis Martin, and Michael Vick. So hop on board the A-Train series today and get the balls you need only at ultimateautographs.com. There we go. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Hmm. Ryan says, this is amazing. <laughs> Thanks, Ryan. Appreciate it, dude. That is an awesome commercial. That is amazing. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Our marketing team, uh, Garrett. Garrett uh, Garrett Price. Price. We have Garrett two Price. Garretts, and they both spell their first name the same way. Yep. We have two Garretts crazy? at work here. Garrett Price put that together for us. Thank you, Garrett. 
Uh, a lot better than the other commercial. Which one are you talking about, Dennis? Look at that. Look at the feedback on the uh, on the A-Train video. Love that. Good. Thank Good. you guys for, for chiming in. We appreciate that very much. All right. So we will get caught up here, see if we can add anything else to our... Uh, yeah, those... Uh... The helmets and the jerseys are... Uh, the mini just filled up, too. That rookie of the year, number two. It's a long-winded one that just came out. That, not hat. You know what we're going to do in the break room? Dennis, are you talking about our new intro video? What are we going to do in the break room? We're going to get rid of this tablecloth. You don't like the tablecloth? It keeps moving around. Not a tablecloth guy? It's like when you're eating and like, oh, it's like, I don't know that you need the tablecloth when you're at the dining room table yeah. and stuff, but I'm not a, yeah. You know what, Joe? sliding Let around. Me, we should just do a public video. We'll just burn the tablecloths. Oh, okay. I'm not a tablecloth guy either. My we wife some, loves them. We've got some tables in the hallway that are moving in soon. Yes, yeah, so we're getting the new tables. No tablecloths on those. So until then, Joe, we might have to deal with the table. We'll, we'll grind. Gotta love the grind. All right. We'll get that. <laughs> Rookie of the year two, ready to rock. That is full. Rookie of the year two. Damn right, Joe. I'm gonna I'm gonna look I'm gonna look up something. I'm gonna see NFL players you didn't know. Oh, played for other teams. I popped up immediately. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. 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 I love this. Love this stuff. Uh, so we have 25 players you completely forgot played for other teams, and we'll uh. We'll wait for Joe to update that rookie of the year, too. We'll run that right after we talk about some NFL players you completely forgot played for other teams. James Harrison played for the Cincinnati Bengals. Never do that. Donovan McNabb played for the Minnesota Vikings. Never do that. Uh, a devastating playoff loss to the Dallas Cowboys in 2009. Uh, he opted to name Kevin Cobb as the starter over Donovan McNabb. McNabb was traded to Washington and actually ended up beating the Eagles in the team's first matchup that season uh, when the Redskins traded him in the sixth round, he's right, <laughs> sixth round pick. Wow. Uh, he played six games and lost the starting spot to Christian Ponder. Remember Christian Ponder? Wow, yeah, I do remember Christian Ponder, yeah. Devin Hester's on this list, played for the Seattle Seahawks. Gosh, yeah, I forgot about that. I knew Didn't know that. the Falcons after the Bears, but... Didn't know that. Champ Bailey on the New Orleans Saints? Uh, <laughs> uh, he was cut before the regular season even began. Jerome Bettis, Los Angeles Rams. I think he was drafted by the Los Angeles Rams. That's funny. Buffalo Bills, Anquan Bolden. I remember him playing for the Tim Brown, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. We got Reggie Bush, who played for the Buffalo Bills. I remember that. I don't know why I remember that. Uh, Earl Campbell played for the New Orleans Saints. <laughs> this is funny. Chris Carter on the Miami Dolphins. That's pretty cool. Wow. <laughs> he played five games and caught eight passes. That's bad. Mike Ditka for the Philadelphia Eagles. Mm -hmm. One of which for Philadelphia Eagles. Those are two of the worst seasons of his career. He caught just 39 passes with four touchdowns over a 20-game span. Ryan Burke says, Zooks, how many teams did Gretzky play for? Um, I want to guess. Well, I guess. Like four. Oh. Oilers, Kings, Tampa Bay Lightning, Blues, Rangers. I think four. Huh. Am I right on that? Kings, that's right. Los Angeles, they had the black and gray units. Yeah, that was a big trade for all money reasons. Four. That's right. Four. Ryan says nailed it. Guys, let's throw some hockey trivia at Bazooka Joe here. <laughs> I think he'll get them all. Probably not. This is a fun list. There's some really cool stuff. So, uh, Randy Moss is on here. 
Andre Johnson played for the Tennessee Titans. Didn't know that. Uh, this is a good one. Joe Montana finished his career with the Kansas City Chiefs. You remember that? Nick Foles on the Los Angeles Rams. <laughs> Nick Foles on the Bears. How about that? <laughs> yeah, wow, true. that was he was done by the. Oh wait, he's still on the team. Joe Namath played for the Los Angeles Rams too. I didn't know I that. Remember that? From a purely statistical standpoint, Namath is, Namath is one of the most overrated quarterbacks ever. He threw 50 or more interceptions than he did touchdowns over his career. However, Namath's numbers don't tell the whole story. His confidence and poise define him as a player. He was immortalized forever when he guaranteed a victory in Super Bowl three, yep. and his Jets delivered by beating Baltimore Colts. <laughs> oh yeah, that's he, he's still Joe Cool though. I mean, he's very cool. He is very cool. Steve Young played for the Buccaneers. Kurt Warner for the Giants. Man, I these are tough. I would have never guessed that. Donnie, guess what? Yeah. Rookie of the year two is ready. Cool. All right. Let's rock. Let's go. Let's rock. Thank you guys for the fill. Here we go, Rookie of the Year 2. Rookie of the Year 2 is ready to rock and roll. Pretty interesting to see guys like you You think you know their entire career. Oh, man, he was a legend. We loved watching him. Never knew he played for a different team. I think that's always fun to learn. It is. <laughs> Let's get two boxes going for Rookie of the Year number 2. If you guys would like to give it to us, they are rolling across the bottom of the screen right now. Dennis Dayton, 30 and 36. Dennis, you are the man. Dennis, we apologize. We missed your podcast, your, uh, yeah, your stream today. I wanted to hop on. We were running a little bit behind. 30 and 36. Yeah, Joe told me at like 7... <laughs> it was late. It's yeah, actually kind like, of funny because close to seven thirty. Like, oh, we forgot the Dennis's podcast. So Dennis, Joe is like had asked me. Uh, <laughs> I had asked Joe when's Dennis's podcast because we saw that you had jumped in on a break at like seven twenty, <laughs> and uh, you should have been live at the time. So you were multitasking while you were doing some uh, some live <laughs> chatting. We we love that. Terry Brenner hit the mother load. Oh, awesome. oh, this is a good hit. Speaking of the mother load, this is a good hit. One of the best wide receivers in the NFL, in my opinion. Remember when Jerry Rice played for the Seahawks? Yeah, that's a very weird one. Mm -hmm. Jerry Rice for the Seahawks also played for the Raiders. It's a good hit. Really, really good hit. Going to John Ogden. John Ogden in the AFC West. It is Keenan Allen. Nice yeah. hit, John. Keenan Allen. Boom. John Ogden. Remember when Emmett Smith played for the Cardinals? I do remember that. I do remember that. We've had Emmett Smith Cardinals gear in here before. We've seen a lot of Cowboys, but we have had Emmett Smith Cardinals stuff. I've seen that pop up. Just because it's Emmett Smith. And he's awesome. AFC West for John Ogden. Nice hit, John. Keenan Allen is the man. Rookie of the Year miniseries headliner was Justin Herbert. And Keenan Allen, his best target was also another headliner in the series. 36. I was thinking how you could. Ooh, back to back studs. Back to back wide receiver studs. Big time guy right here. This is a really nice hit. This goes to the a NFC South. This is the Atlanta Falcons. It is their guy. Calvin Ridley. Calvin Ridley out of Alabama. Little brother. Riley Ridley is a Bears slot receiver out of Georgia. Who doesn't play. He does not play at all. I was kind of miffed by that. I mean, they took him in, what, sixth fourth, round? Fourth, fourth, fifth round, maybe? It was a little bit later. There you go. Dennis Dayton, there you go. NFC South, Dennis. There's your guy, Calvin Ridley. I like him. He's a really good fantasy wide receiver. He catches a lot of passes. When Julio Jones is hurt, he kind of shines. 
Yeah. And Julio Jones missed a couple games last year, and Calvin Ridley was the man for Atlanta. <laughs> and Sean Norman says, remember when Matt Forte played for the Jets? Yes. Because the Bears didn't want to pay yes. him. That was a contract dispute. I remember that. My dad was like, Why? where's Matt Forte? And I was like, we didn't re-sign him, and he was mad about that. <laughs> Matt Forte, another guy who, when he played with the Bears, was very quiet, very vanilla yeah. quote. Yeah. And then since he retired, now he's very unspoken. He is. I think like, he is. Why were you like this when you played? He, uh, that Super Bowl game, he was, like, going off in the first half, and they just stopped giving him the ball, remember? Yeah. yeah. I guess I'm not a coach, but if I were, I would be a... Yeah, Matt Forte went to the Jets after the Bears and was good for the Jets, too. Yeah. Right. I said, Dennis, that's Calvin Ridley. All right, we get our list updated here, see if we can fill up anything else for tonight. Looks like we still have... How many, let me check the website again here. We have... Uh, oh, I think one just filled up. I think the uh, helmet four at the double just filled up here. Oh, is that a Terminator? Uh, the complete complete helmet. Okay. Gonzaga's now up 20. Not enough. Gonzaga up 20, not covering. UCLA, BYU. UCLA up 9 over BYU, 11 over a 6 seed right there. We have... We said, let's win a jersey or three. <laughs> That's right, it's a triple. You got a chance. So we got complete two is full, Joe. I'll run and grab two more boxes. Uh, the, the helmets? Yeah. Yeah, three is ready. Is it up there on there? Helmet three? Uh, da, 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 da. Give me a look here. Oops. Helmet three and four are, are ready. Oh, we did helmet three. We did. We did yeah, do complete helmet number water three. Yep. That. yep. So number four should be a double, correct? Four is a double, right. correct. Let me go grab two boxes. Shell there. Whoa, you all right? Yeah. Quick feet. Dude, what am I doing? Too many cords hanging around. <laughs> I, almost fell. I almost ate it, Joe. <laughs> oh, you almost fell. I almost ate it. That would have been the end of the Violence. night. Good athletic move. That would have been, been the end of the night right there. <laughs> we will wrap it up. I got to fix that and fix those cords because that is not good. I almost hit the deck right there. You did. Woo! Okay. Thank goodness you're an athlete. Yeah, somewhat. Somewhat. <laughs> Golfers, but that's fine. <laughs> Golfers are athletes. Yeah, we'll do helmet four here, this double. All right. Okay. Here we go. Huh. All right. Complete four. It is supposed to be it's black. It should be green. There yeah, it it's, is. it's right now. There it is. There you go, Joe. Killing it. Oh. Right, we, go. we got Cody. We got Chris. Dennis. Chris. Chris. Soups. S-U-P-P-E-S. Is that a new name? That's that's a new name. Yeah. That's Chris. Sups. Sups. Hey, Chris. Sups, man. Sups. Caitlin, Aaron, and Donovan. Hey, Chris, subs, dude. Thank you for joining us. Appreciate that. Thank you guys for jumping in, covering up a complete helmet number four, ready to rock and roll. Whew. Two boxes here, about two in the room. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Chris, subs. All right. 45 46. A double box complete helmet break. Let's get some fire going, Joe. Let's go. Let's find some fire here. Sean, Sean is getting 100% carried away with the comments now. <laughs> oh, a Beckett COA. We have a headliner. 
headed to the Falcons. It is prime time. Deion Sanders. There we go. Cody Butler in the NFC South. Two straight hits for the Atlanta Falcons. Cody, congrats, dude. Really nice hit. Boom. Sean Norman says, remember when Joe went to Woodstock? Joe, you ever been to Woodstock? <laughs> I'm not that old, Sean. Come on, bro. When was that? 60s, wasn't it? I, I wasn't there. I, mean, I was alive. I was like three. <laughs> <laughs> Woodstock. Woodstock. <laughs> That's like the famous rock concert, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. A plethora of drugs and rock music. That was it. Well said. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Cody, nice hit, man. That's nice. Deion Sanders. <laughs> Woodstock. <laughs> probably, it was probably a blast. It was probably fun oh, as hell. Yeah. Not that anyone can remember it because they were so stoned. <laughs> I mean, the LSD was a flowing, I'll tell you. The memories were short. It was probably a blast. I think the term stoned is hilarious. Right. With the terminology. Do, do, do you young, young guys still use that term? Probably not. I don't think so. I haven't heard. I haven't heard. Stoned. I mean, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. Here we go. We got ourselves a Kansas City Chief for Helmet 2. Going to the AFC West. Boom. Caitlin Patillo. Frank Clark. Riddell. Eclipse. Speed replica. Very nice helmet. Good defensive player there for the 2019 NFL champion. Kansas City Chiefs. You know, 508-57. Caitlin, big time. There you go. Uh, Fraunheiser92 says, it's called getting faded, I think, now. Yeah, faded is oh, all right. the terminology. Oh, that is correct. Faded. Faded. <laughs> Jersey four that uh, double is. Is it double or is it triple? Good to go. I'm sorry, I did triple. Triple. Yeah, Jersey four is the triple. Okay. I gotta go grab one more Jersey box because I got two in here. I'll be right back with you, Joe. All right. So let us know. We have a lot of stuff you sold out here in the last few minutes. So let us know what uh, what do you want to see up there? What can we post for you? Twenty four, twenty six, thirty one. Triple jersey. All right, jersey number four, triple box break. Sean, David, Justin, Adrian Gonzalez, Anthony Ibarra, Dennis, Ryan, and David Berard. Let's go. Let's get some boxes rolling. We got three of them in here. Bink, bink. And eleven. Triple jersey box. Alright, looks like they want to do another complete double helmet, Joe. Alright, another double helmet. We'll post another double complete helmet. We got three jerseys coming up. JSA COA. First up, ooh, Joe, this is my favorite hit that we have had in quite some time. This is an awesome, awesome piece of history. Awesome jersey. 
Very rare do we see two signatures on a jersey. How about four signatures on a jersey? This is our capital punishment. Oh, yeah. yeah. Autographed Redskins throwback jersey. Whole lot going on here. So we have, we have man, we have... Butts, we have Grant, and we have Manley on here. So yeah, Dexter Manley. Dexter Manley, right. Dave Butts. Who are the other guys? Uh, Grant. That's, uh, here's Dave Butts. Uh, it's not. Dave? Shoot. Hold on. So this was, this was the Washington Front Four. Correct. Back in the, gosh, was it 90s or 80s? Capital Punishment. This is going to the NFC. This was that Super Bowl run, probably like, Late 80s, early 90s. We'll definitely get the full names because I, I want to know them too, just because we've never had a jersey quite like this. That goes to the that goes to the NFC East. That's David Fraunheiser hit. That's an awesome, awesome hit. NFC East for the Washington Redskins. Four autographs. Capital cool. punishment. That's a really cool hit. That's really cool. Box 24 of 50 there. Huge headliner. Man Butts Grant Manley. Yeah, Dexter Manley. I know that name, right? That's a yeah. custom jersey. No Redskins affiliation on the front. There's a whole lot on the back. <laughs> if you want to frame this, it would look fantastic in a frame. I want to see somebody frame that piece. I think it would be really cool. Super Bowl Pretty champs. Cool. Hail to the Redskins. The capital punishment. Washington Redskins throwback. That's really, really cool. I like that hit a lot. All right, David, that's you, man. Ships out Monday. Ships out Monday. All of our hits from the weekend ship out Monday. That's a really cool hit. We never see more than... Yeah, that's like, a double cool. autographed jersey is hard to find. And they were all nice signals. And, and small, some inscriptions, were, too. Yeah, it was too All right, 26... 26 is a NFC North. This is the all-time interceptions leader. It's our guy, Paul Krause. Hall of Fame 98, 81 career interceptions for Paul Krause, defensive player. Paul Krause, there's your boy. Goes to David Berard. David, nice hit there. NFC North. NFC North. Dennis gives a whoop whoop. Dennis hoping for that NFC whoop, whoop. South. We're doing a helmet uh, double again. Is that what we wanted? That is correct. Yeah. Be number five. Yep. Big Saturday night here in the UA Live Breaks. Appreciate you guys' support thus far. Rocking and rolling. Rob Anderson, what's up, man? The all-time interception king. That is correct. That is correct. Ooh. George wants another jersey triple. All right. Let's do it. You want to do it? Let's do it. We'll post a double helmet and a jersey triple. Let me post a helmet. Yep. 31. And our... Third and final hit is a Kellen Winslow going to the Chargers. AFC West. AFC West rocking that number 80. Hall of Fame 95. One of the best tight ends to ever do it. Kellen Winslow. Good hit. Adrian. Yo, Adrian! <laughs> I'm sure you've never heard that before, Adrian. <laughs> Which Rocky is that from? Oh, first one. First one? Yeah. It was like, what, five Rockies? At least, maybe six. Rocky two? Or so he's, many, though. Who does he fight in number two? Uh, he fights... Well, he still fights... Uh, Apollo Creed, right? Second time? Apollo Creed. 
And he beats him the second time, doesn't he? Yes. First one, he loses. Right, at the end. Yeah. Heartbreaker. And then he trains with Apollo Creed in three. Right. He, he faces Clubber Lang. In three? Or is that... Mr. T. Right, right, That's Okay, and then that's, he fights the Russian three. guy. Yeah. Rocky IV, he Drago. fights Ivan Drago. Both longer in. Who kills Apollo Creed in the ring, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. Dolph Lundgren, that's right. That's right, Joe. <laughs> Dolph Lundgren, he's I think in his 60s. He's still a real good-looking guy. He still looks like he can kill Box somebody. Yeah, you think so? If he dies, he dies. What an epic series of movies. <laughs> that's like Philadelphia's greatest athlete ever. Yeah, right. A fictional character. Right. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with Bill Burr. Have you ever heard of Bill Burr? Comedian Bill Burr? Uh, I think so. He once went on stage at a Philadelphia comedy club, comedy comedy event, and they were booing him pretty bad because he had made a joke that was a little bit inappropriate. And they were giving it to him pretty good, and and he just ranted about Pittsburgh and, and Philadelphia for, like, seven minutes straight and just roasted the entire city of Philadelphia. It was Oh, that's not good. Philly absolutely like the most hilarious. The toughest fans there is, right? I'm so, yeah. Reputation, Philly? It was. I'm not, I don't know if you guys have ever seen it. It's a famous bit, Bill Burr roasting uh, Philadelphia. And that's one of the lines where he's like, your, your most famous athlete is a fictional character. Oh, and he's talking about wow. Rocky. It's a, fa- it's a fantastic piece of comedy. It's so funny. It is very inappropriate. Can't play it on the stream. But it is, it's quite hilarious, and it's one of my favorite things from, like, the Bill Burr. Just, it's so funny. It's so mm. good. All right, Terminator 3 is a double box break. Let's get those going. We have two boxes left in the room. So we have a double helmet posting and a triple jersey posting. Yeah, the, the, the uh, helmet should be up there now. Okay. So then we'll post this triple again on the jersey. All right, double platinum helmet break. We got 23 and 16. Isn't Detroit it's Robocop? Hey, boys, see double complete as a copy. Think there were issues last time, just confirming. I think I think that was just uh, a typo. Typo. Typo, Ryan. Thanks, though. Typo from the editor. Yeah, true. From the former editor. Long-time sports editor with the typo. Shame on me. How long, Joe? Uh, as an editor, like 25 years. So, yeah, all the better. As an editor, 25 years. <laughs> <laughs> all the better to have a typo on the website. It happens. Proof it does happen. I think you have the least amount of typos in the company, though. <laughs> I think I, uh, yeah, I'm the league leader. I'm I the have, UA leader. I get a couple to my name. This is a really awesome hit. I'm, I'm pumped to pull this. One of the top talents in the NFL with a huge, huge opening rookie season for your... Minnesota Vikings, it is Justin Jefferson. Oh, yeah. Speed Authentic with the Skull Inscription. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's going to Seth Kolbach. NFC North. NFC North. Beautiful. Seth, congrats, dude. That's an awesome hit. Mm-hmm. Justin Jefferson, Speed Authentic, Skull Inscription. Robbie says, now I'm mad. <laughs> <laughs> Robbie got the AFC West. He is a Vikings oh. guy. Very cool hit. Robbie, I'm sure if you hit up Seth, he might be able to trade, though. Might be able to do some trades. Yeah, we can do trades if you're new to the break room. Put it out there on the chat. Yeah, if your trades are processed before we get done here, they will be shipped out from us to you. All right, next hit. 23, the MJ box is who we got. Beckett Certificate of Authenticity. 
Our hit is going to the New England Patriots. Nice auto. Nice big auto there across the top of that helmet. That's Willie McGinnis. Willie McGinnis. Chris Gibbs. Patriots Pro Line. Nice hit. Nice hit. All right. There's our Terminator number three. That was a double box break. We have a couple things posted right now. Let me do a breakdown as to what's on the website, what's live. We have complete helmet number. Oh, it does say copy of, Joe. Copy live break number five. Uh, uh, which one on the helmet? Yeah, complete NFL helmet. Four spots left. That's another double. We have seven spots left on the triple jersey. Uh, we'll give it a little bit of time, see if we can fill up anything else. Two spots left on the bus number two. Four spots left on seeing double. I can fix that, Joe. Could you do that real yep. quick? Yes, I sure can. Thank you, bud. Yeah, because the orders are flying in now to fill up those uh, new ones we just posted. Cool. That's fine. That's fine with me. You got bigger fish to fry over there. Here we go. We're going to break some more stuff here. Let's see. Let's see some scores from our tournaments. Gonzaga up 21. Um, UCLA up 9 on BYU. I'm sorry, up 11 now on BYU. Texas and Albaline Christian. Is that Albaline Christian, the Wildcats? Where are they located at? Isn't that uh, Texas? That sounds like a Texas school, right? 23 and 4 this season. 14 seed playing against Texas, the Longhorns. You know what team looked good to me today? Watched a little bit of LSU. Um, yeah, they have they have a fantastic, um, they have a fantastic team. They have a fantastic talent. So they have a freshman that scored twenty seven today. That kid's a stud, Cameron Thomas. Impressive performance, and his LSU teammates provided the rebounding muscle, leading the eighth seeded Tigers past the ninth seeded Saint Bonaventure. Uh, ninth seeded Saint Bonaventure, and into the second round. Yeah, I mean their their team is super talented. See how my bracket's doing. Right now, I am 87%. Oh, I gotta be, I gotta be up what? there. What? I gotta be up there. I picked Ohio. I got Ohio that Creighton. Uh, I have Oklahoma. I have Oregon and Iowa. So I have the whole top left correct so far. With USC, I have Kansas. Come on, I gotta be winning this. I am second. I'm tied. Okay, I'm right behind. I'm right behind the Boilermakers. Okay, Casey, I'm coming for you, Casey. Just letting you know. My max is 15, total 210. Man, Casey's doing good. So I picked Baylor. I picked North Carolina. North Carolina got bounced, by the way, by 30. Did they? Villanova won, had Villanova. Purdue, I, lost, I didn't have Purdue. Had Texas Tech, had Arkansas, had Florida, had Ohio State, Illinois, had Tennessee making it quite a way. Everyone died. Yeah. I remember when I was in first. Man, I was I was pumped about the North Carolina team. You know, their head coach had never lost a game in the first round of the tournament. Is it Roy right? Williams? Yeah. Had never lost a game in the first round of a tournament. Wow, this is probably one of the lesser known North Carolina. Like I don't, I don't really know a ton of players on the team. Usually with North Carolina, you know that they have a, a lottery pick every single year. You <laughs> right, know, right. The recruit, the recruiting class is that good. Um, who else looked good? Um, Oklahoma State looked good. Oklahoma State looked good over. Uh, who they play? Lib. That is. 
Liberty. That's right, they flew Liberty. And Cade Cunningham. He's so good at basketball. He will he's, be the, uh, he's the consensus. Top pick of the draft. Consensus number one pick in the NBA draft. Census number one pick. It's been, you know, last year Anthony Edwards is number one pick. Um, can well, we still do a, a no doubter? Right, pick. right. No. This year I feel like there's a no doubt in this one. I agree. Does anyone have a perfect bracket still? Can't, right? Oh, we do have a guy that has a perfect what? bracket. Took Oral Roberts. So there are. Awesome. Not many left. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seven. All right, there are seventeen. Seventeen perfect brackets remaining out of however many, however many in the entire world. Um, wow. Seventeen perfect brackets left. Dang. Looks like we just filled up bus two. We did. You'll have it in a second. Cool. Thank you, Joe. Mm -hmm. Let's start organizing this a little bit. Alrighty. Got a first order here too. Oh, this to Thank you very much, Cal, for jumping in. Appreciate it. Find it there? I sure did. Sure did. Here we go. Let's get a box number going for the bus number two. That's a wooden crate mini helmet series. Fun series. Good stuff in there. Mm -hmm. Still got some headliners available. See if we can pull this time. Box numbers rolling across the bottom of your screen. 14, 32, 36, 38, 39, and 40. Anthony says use magic numbers. We have 32. 32 it is. Some UFC up. UFC fights tonight, Joe. If you're a UFC guy. I'm not, but I do like the I I have like the UFC stuff we pulled here in the room yeah. last couple weeks. Are you a UFC guy? I am. I'm a UFC guy. I'm one of those guys that when I see it on TV, I, ca I can't change the channel. Yeah. My mom will not watch UFC. She won't. Oh. I thought you were, were going to tell me she's a fan. She will not. The UFC is on? Too, too violent. She will say, get that off. You know what she says? She says, I always picture you in there fighting. Oh. Getting knocked out, of course. <laughs> never the winner. She never pictures, she never <laughs> yeah, pictures thanks, me as the, as the triumphant winner. Mom, I would win. I'm only the loser that's bleeding. <laughs> Oh my God, goodness. Biggest item of the night. Ooh. JSA COA. Here's perked. That was my goal. In my opinion. I know we pulled a lot of cool stuff, and this is up there with anything that we pulled tonight. Calvin Johnson. Oh. Megatron Lions Mini. Let's go. Anthony calls out the box number, says, use Magic Johnson's number. We use 32, and Anthony is the guy that takes home the Calvin Johnson. That? That's amazing. Anthony, great hit, man. Georgia Tech. Number two overall pick was a legend. A legend. Retired early, but is a Hall of Famer. Just, just got in. Just got in. But he's definitely a Hall. He, you know, he's definitely oh, yeah, retired oh, yeah, early. Definitely, definitely, totally deserving. Right. He he retired early, but he could only endure the Lions being god awful for so long. <laughs> Anthony, great hit, man! Big time hit. That was box thirty-two. How much five? The double is ready to go too. Cool. All right. Okay. Let me. Uh... Oh, I got to get two more boxes. Flying through the complete helmets. Flying through the complete helmets. Let me grab two more. Grab two more. Then we'll run this and see if we can do anything else for tonight. 
Do a quick breakdown. We got six spots left in the triple jersey. We have seven spots left in the script. We have four spots left in seeing double. So closing in on a couple more breaks. Filled up complete helmet. Number five, Josh Dyer, Chris, Ryan, Cody Butler, Ryan, Derek, Jay, Chris Gibbs. Here we go. Guys, thank you for the continuous fills for tonight. We're having some fun. Two mm -hmm. more complete helmets. Be right back with you, Joe. All right. Let us know. We got. We still have lots of stuff. I mean, we, again, we have eight things on the website. It's kind of nutty. Some of those aren't showing sold out, but we uh, we have more. So if you're interested in anything else, the footballs. I'm not sure if we have a football up there or not. Uh, the uh, the A train, but uh, we got we got more stuff. So. Chris Gibbs says double terminator. Yeah, you guys let uh you guys let us know. You guys let us know if you want to do a double terminator in the chat. That would be 106 a spot. Um for for a double or a triple? For a double. For a double, yeah. We just did Terminator 3, which was a double at 106. Correct. You want to do another double Potentially. terminator? See if they okay, see, see if they want to roll. Rock get some roll. more uh, feedback on that. Ryan Burke says, great job tonight, Zooks. Thanks, man. Ryan, you're the a best, lot. dude. Appreciate the, uh, Look at the that. support. Guys, I know it looks easy when Joe does it or, or Garrett or Shayla do it. That position is so hard. I've done it. It's insane. It's, it's hard. It's hard. It's a lot. Especially when you have a lot of product up there. You yeah. Know, up and down is great. So. It's killing it, man. You but definitely. I, I, and I do appreciate when the uh, people tell us if there's a mistake or I'm not in this break and it says sure. or whatever on the website. We, we appreciate that feedback. It's fast. It moves fast. And that person posts everything. They get the list updated. Sean Norman's still going on about remembering stuff. Sean, kill me. Kill me. I can't even keep up with you anymore. JSA COA, good player. Very good player. We have an Arizona Cardinals secondary player, rookie, on the beautiful white helmet. Going to the NFC West. Derek Pitch, that's Isaiah Simmons. Isaiah Simmons. Cardinals. Okay, top seven, top eight good. pick right last year. I know he's a really good player. Same draft that had all available LSU players go in the in the uh, in the draft. All available LSU players from that team got picked last year. Isn't that awesome? Is that right? That's amazing. That's a good nugget. Derek, nice hit, man. Let me see how we're doing on Jersey 5. Cool. Again, guys, if this is your first time playing and we see a break that does not fill tonight, it will carry over until tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow we have two breaks. I'll be the host of both. Both with Garrett. Both with Garrett tomorrow. Garrett's cranking on Sunday. 48. <laughs> Five spots left in Jersey 5. That's the uh, triple. 66 a spot there on those. You'll get the same division for all three boxes. Complete helmet number 5. Double box break. This is box 2. We have a back at COA. We have a... Patriots Eclipse. These are fire. Patriots Eclipse stand out. I love this helmet right here. This thing is great. Chase Winovich. Chase Winovich out of Michigan. Cody, Cody Butler. Cody Butler. It's the kid that looks has, uh, looks like Thor a little bit. Yep. Super long, blonde hair. Flowy, beautiful hair. Good linebacker, too. He's a good player. Especially on, yeah, on yeah. the Eclipse. And I love that. We know his, his signature oh, yeah. is awesome. It's Wino, right? It's big. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, it's cool. I think it's really cool. Yeah, it's per like this ink is perfect. Yeah. Cody Butler won that. Cody Butler's taking it home for sixty-eight bucks. There you go. Double box break there. Seven. 
You are right. Seven. 68 for the uh, preferred customers. <laughs> 70 for the rest. You ain't cash the box discount. Correct. Can we see how many spots are left in other breaks? Kylan, we have five spots left in the jersey. We have seven spots left in the script number two. And we have four spots left in seeing double. We can post something else if you're uh, interested. We got the A train. We can post another rookie of the year. Do we have? Uh, yeah, we got plenty of those. Yep. The mini. Two mini breaks tonight. Two minis. I mean, two we have, because we have so many different things going. Yeah, true, true, true. There's um, a lot to choose from, which is yeah. good. It's really good. Did you go through a ton of minis last night? Was it uh, before? Friday. 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 Oh, that was yeah, last night. Yeah, last night. Yeah. Joe, I'm losing my mind. The days run here. together. I can, so it feels like Sunday all day. Right. Felt like Sunday to me. Um, because we woke up, we went to play golf this morning, and uh, it was a frost delay, and we didn't get out. Didn't get out at all. Didn't go anywhere else. The delay was too long. Yeah. It was too. It was too long. David says, heading out, guys, going to be busy coming up, so I'll try and pop in, but I will be back and have to build an addition to the house to fit all the stuff. LOL, peace. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for everything, man. We appreciate Thank it, you. and uh, we're happy that you're uh, you're winning some stuff and you can show off your additions to the uh, to the missus, who is starting to question your, your habits, but that's fine because she knows that you're happy doing this. <laughs> Thanks for the support, Sean. Man, Sean Norman says, remember when Bazooka Joe came my second favorite dude at UA? I hope that's still the case. So that's Garrett, you, me. I might not even be three. Not even, we don't even have to say who's one or two. Well, we know one Garrett's one. With Sean, we know Garrett's one. Yeah. So then you're two. All right. Sean, I want to know where I sit in that list because we have Dave, we have Chris, we have Shayla. Sure, Everybody's part of the uh, yep. part of the break room, regular. Man, that, that hurts that I'm falling so quickly. <laughs> Sean, I've been here since day one. How are you going to put me anywhere but one? Sean that's, and Garrett had a good... Uh, Sean? Healthy conversation about their favorite slot receiver the other night. Oh, yeah. Because yeah, Garrett. Sean going with, you know. Well, Sean. Plus Welker and Sean him. misheard Garrett. Oh. Sean thinks that he's. Garrett said, uh, Cole, Cole Beasley is the best slot receiver ever. Whereas Garrett said, he's my favorite slot receiver. Yeah, that, that's. Yeah, he, he's definitely his favorite. Uh, but Wes Welker, the numbers would be. Wes Welker's probably amazing. The best. Wes Welker's probably the best. Yeah. But yeah. Garrett loves Cole Beasley. And the more I've watched Cole Beasley since I've known that. He's awesome. Yeah, he really is a good player. He's awesome. Really good route runner. <laughs> Number one, I didn't miss here. Uh, yeah, if you guys want to do another high-end high helmet, we could do that. That uh, seeing double. That's been posted for a while. Well, yeah, we'll give it a few more minutes, see if we can fill anything else up. If not, we'll push some breaks back until tomorrow. Like I said, two breaks tomorrow. We'll get one of everything posted. Steve Stuber's in. Steve Stuber's in. I think you already have that one, though, Joe. Uh, oh, Steve, I yeah, just got that order. Came in. Cool. Yeah, the sing double, by the way, it's half filled. Four spots. Four sing spots. double, let's do a quick breakdown. So, uh, fellas, before you sign out, could you let me know what I hit this afternoon? Ryan, uh, I will. It's still in the back room there. Ryan, let me, give me one second. Yeah, let me see if I can find Two minis. Let's see if I can find it. Give me one step. That's from getting crowded. See you later. Yeah, six spots left in the uh, script. Those are cool helmets. Seeing dub four. And then five left in that uh, jersey triple. Did you find it? <laughs> Number one, Donnie is my fourth favorite dude at UA and falling drastically. Man, I feel like I haven't wow. changed my ways much, Sean. That is that's hurtful. No, 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 Ryan, you don't have to apologize. Because you hit earlier, yeah. Chad Johnson. That was Chad Johnson earlier, Ryan.
Does he sign that J S or is that the Ocho Cinco? Is it's kind of like a C J. Yeah, probably. The, okay. I don't know. I love that helmet. Those little stripes, the Bengals. Yeah. You know they make a Bengals helmet with the stripes cut out so they could sign it easier? You ever seen one of those? I'm not. Yeah. Is that right? All right, Jersey 5, halfway filled. All right. With, uh, triple. That's a triple, right, Joe? I'm going to yep. grab a. All right. <laughs> Dave is probably last because he's boring. <laughs> uh, Sean, Dave's mom watches all the breaks. She really does. Garrett told me uh, his, his, his dad watches a lot of breaks. Is that right? That's nice, yeah. My parents watch zero breaks. <laughs> <laughs> my parents say, after I leave, they forget my existence until I arrive again. Jersey five, five, uh, four left. We gotta do one more jersey. You're cool. Why did I pick Ohio State to go so far in the tournament? But who, who did you pick Ohio though to win today? I, I picked Ohio to win today. It's good. I picked them to beat Virginia. I had the top left corner completely correct. Oh my gosh, Gonzaga's up by. 40. 40. 40 points. How much lead. time left? 10 minutes left in the second. That, oh, see, because then they, they up, they're big now right. from the backups, and right. then there's where that. That's where the spread comes That's when it gets that's interesting. Where the comes in. That's exactly right. Yeah, the, uh, the, the NCAA tournament, uh, if you have a bracket, it's kind of like here. Sometimes you lose, sometimes you, sometimes you win. Right. <laughs> right? It's kind of like. Exactly right. Sometimes like, oh, they're like, oh. Man. Yeah, they're up 40 right now. They're up 37. Ah. 33 people, is People a getting lot. nervous. What, what is the, uh, is it 30 or 30 or 33? 33. 33. That's a lot. It's a, it's a ton. So the way I like to look at spreads and stuff, when a team is minus... Uh, or a team is plus. The the way to think about it, the way I do, is you think about that team starting with X amount of points. Mm -hmm. The team that Baylor is playing started the game with 33 points already. That's the way I look at it. I think that's so funny. It'd be like playing golf with you. You'd have to give me like uh, 15 strokes right, <laughs> off, right off the bat. <laughs> uh, you'd start. I would start with 15 and go from there. Right. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of how the handicap system works. Yeah, the right. handicap index. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I think that's so funny. Like when, when you look at spreads and stuff and you see teams are minus 30, minus 28, they are starting the game with 20 in, in a hole points. Yeah. I think that's so interesting to think about. And all crazy, right? Yeah, let's fill that helmet. Cool. Yep, 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 yep. George is in. George is in on something. Fifty-three. George is in on a script, if I'm not mistaken. No. George is in on the uh, script. Yep. Yeah. Those are fifty-three. Yeah. It's a fun series. <sighs> oh, 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 pardon me. Yeah, those script. They're. Combo reps and authentics, correct? Each has 
at least at least one inscription. Correct. And some of them have multiple. A, a lot. I mean, more more than just like two or yeah, you know, like two. Is it no? Is the Singletary helmet in this one where it's got multiple? Is the Singletary in that in this one? I think one has like a crazy amount of inscriptions on it. Let's see. Let's I don't know if it's in this series. So we it's have right. we have a. Um, Maurice Jones Drew, Duval Till We Die. That's a cool one. Uh, we have uh, Randy Moss, Straight Cash Homie. Uh, Steve Largent, Hall of Fame. OJ, The Juice is Loose. We have Mike Sungatari with like five inscriptions. Yeah. It's a really cool helmet, yeah. too. I like it. And then we have your favorite, Joe. The LT. It is in this series. It is boxed up. The, Correct. The R-rated one? Correct. The R-rated one. It, Ryan Berg says he's in for a, another Rookie of the Year double. He'll buy two spots in that. Steve Stuber just bought the final five spots in the script. Look at Steve. Steve. He's stud. Boom. Whoa, fist he's, bump, man. He's stud. You stud. Rocking it. Wild, man. Thank you, Steve. There you go. A round of applause for Steve. Thank you, Steve. The script, too. Bang. All right, let's get that ready for you, Donnie. Cool script two. Cool. Script two. We'll do a full size helmet break. Yes. I know we did one of these already, but I don't remember what number. Boom! 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 Right, script two. Cool. Ready to go. Thank you, guys. But Steve actually has six spots in this break. Wow. Steven, six, six and he, spots. And he called George out the box Adrian. number. Did he call out the box? And he called out the box number. Bang, he's on it. George says Gonzaga might cover that spread up 39. We were just saying, now they're, right. gonna, now they're going to bring up the backups, and that's when they're going to lose a little bit of that mm -hmm. lead. But that Gonzaga is amazing. Their their starting unit for Gonzaga is unbelievable. Who's who's their best player? Uh, their two guard, I believe. I'll get his name, but I think their two guard, who's all all American this year, uh, the kid from U of I, the kid that wears the black mask now, Ayo. Oh, uh, Dosomu. Ayo Dosomu is that how you say his mm -hmm. last name? He's not all American this year. Yeah. Twenty seven. Come on. Twenty seven. All right, here we go. Script two, box 27. Let's see what we have. See what we've got. Let's see if we can find a cool inscription on this one. Oh, very cool hit. Back at COA. We have ourselves a Cowboys Eclipse. Very cool. Jay Novacek. Nice. Three-time Super Bowl champ inscription Steve. on that. Steve Stuber. Steve. Paid off. Well Woo. done. Woo. Yeah. That's cool. That Eclipse. That's very nice. Steve, congrats, man. Very nicely done. He bought the rest of the spots, called out the box number, got the right division, won the helmet. That guy has a plan, and he's going right. to stick to it, and he won. Hope you like it, Steve. It's pretty cool. I like it. That's I think nice. it's good looking. Signed in blue, too. Jay Novacek. He catch passes from Roger Staubach, if I'm not mistaken, right? Uh, no, I think Troy Aikman. Troy Aikman? Troy Aikman. Yeah. Yeah, it does pop with that blue. I like the blue. Paint pen. So there was Aikman, Irvin, Smith, Novacek. <laughs> and, and a great offensive line. Too. Yeah, I mean it was just. Cause he was what the tight end, right? You know, yes. Tight end? Script two in the books. Steve, thank you very much, man. Thank you. Appreciate you guys for helping us fill up a couple extra boxes tonight. Having some fun in here. Give it just a few more moments. See if we can fill anything else up. If not, we appreciate you. We're gonna get some more stuff posted for tomorrow too. We got a Saturday. We got a Sunday 2 p.m. show. That is always uh, a fun. 
when uh, with me and Garrett in the room tomorrow, and then we have uh, another break at eight. So we got a lot for tomorrow. Uh, we'll post post a bunch for tomorrow too. We got a lot of sorting to do. Who's uh, who's doing uh, this? The back. You used to call it the back room. No, now, now this guy is not in the back the room producer. anymore. Producer. The producer. Who's producing? Garrett. Garrett. Garrett is producing tomorrow for both. Both. For both. Nice hit, Steven. Congrats, dude. Four left in the uh, Jersey Triple. Four left in that. Four left in the uh, Seeing Dub helmets. That's, all, that's the only thing we have on the website right now. Let's see if we can fill those. I'd love to fill a seeing double. Find some big time hit in that in that series. Seventy we only five have, a spot, right? Yes. We only have what four left? Yeah, only a few. Four, four left, only I think. Few. Counted them up uh yes yesterday. Nice. But we've got um we got a new mini series ready to roll we this do. week. We have, right? we have a lot. We got the the back room is stocked. Is stocked. You can barely walk around. Good. Um, it's a lot. It's good. It's a we lot got going some on. new names. Some I was just you know, organizing some of the new stuff earlier today between the shows, and we have like tons of top QBs. Yes. I and mean, we've got like very I don't true. Know if there's anyone we don't have. Yep. Saw some Justin Herberts. Saw some uh, Drew Brees minis. Um, we've got a Peyton Manning. A Marino, a Peyton Manning. Mm -hmm. We saw a really dope. Oh, oh yeah, I, I think Peyton I'm gonna, gonna explore that. that. Tease that a little bit, but we got we got some cool stuff. We coming. got a Peyton Manning Tennessee Volunteers Riddell amp coming up in a series very soon. Yeah. One of the coolest help because it, it, it is cool. So the shell is gray. Yes, it'll be coming very soon. I'm excited because yeah. we're gonna we're gonna release a college series, and that will 100% be our biggest headliner. Uh, and I love that helmet. So I just yeah. just to kill time, I was looking at the uh, the 2017 NFL draft. 2017. Is that the Mitch draft? That is the Mitch draft. Okay. Number one, Miles Garrett went number one yes. overall. Uh, then you got Trubisky, Solomon Thomas, Leonard Fournette, Corey Davis, Jamal Adams, Mike Williams, Christian McCaffrey, John Ross, Patrick Mahomes. Lattimore, Deshaun Watson, um, Malik Hooker's in here, Jonathan Allen. This is a good draft. Yeah, it's okay. a really good like, draft. So if you were a redraft, I love the redraft. Oh, you know what? Let's Holmes do that. Holmes goes one. Let's see that. Right, Holmes so goes the, one. Watson probably two. goes two. The Bears move down to 30th. I'm just joking. <laughs> um, probably. So, and then probably uh, Miles Garrett goes three, right? You take the two QBs. You take the franchise QB over the franchise D end, right? So I would agree. So they have the NFL redraft okay. for 2017. Picks one through 16 is all they do. Okay. 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 That's a lot. So the Cleveland Browns unanimously select Patrick Mahomes. Miles Garrett wasn't a bad pick. No. A good no, player. No, absolutely. But Patrick Mahomes is one of the best quarterbacks of all time. Yeah. You know, um... It can still be argued that the dominant defensive end was, however, the Cleveland Browns would remain mired in quarterback misery throughout the 2017 season because they picked Baker in 2018, correct? Yes. So, number one goes Patrick Mahomes. Number two goes to Sean Watson of the 49ers. Number three, the Chicago Bears select T.J. Watt from Wisconsin, outside linebacker. You, and he's great. He's great. Would you rather have Miles Garrett than T.J. Watt? I'm a Watt guy. You I would Watt. rather have Watt. I love Watt. Because and he, went, and he, he went late first. Uh, TJ TJ Watt. I want to say like t late twenties or yeah yeah. He's awesome. He he is. He, he he is, is a he is a serious contender for the NFL Defensive Player of the Year next year. Yeah, I, I mean there are people who thought he should have gotten it yep. this year. If Garrett there are betting odds on that, I would put money on that he would win. Uh, Chris oh, McCaffrey Garrett. four to the Jacksonville Jaguars, yeah. and then Tennessee picks Tre'Davious White. New York Jets would still pick Jamal Adams. Yeah, Pretty good. Great pick. So the Jets actually got the correct pick. That's why I wanted the Bears before they traded up. That's yeah. why I'm like, just draft Jamal Adams, yep. solve your safety issues. That's the year the Bears got Eddie Jackson in the fourth round. I think it was that year. Sixth round, right? Third. Is he a sixth uh, round? Fourth. 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 Eddie Jackson. But it's like, just pick Jamal Adams. He's sitting there. He's, you know, you knew he was going to be great. Mm -hmm. I mean, you never know for sure with some of these guys, any of these guys. But uh, and then they went, you know, we all know what they did. Yeah, we do. Ryan's in on the triple jersey. Only a few spots left. Thanks, Ryan. He says, we can do it. 
We have Alvin so Kamara wide. going to the Carolina Panthers at eight. Cincinnati Bengals, Ryan Ramchick, offensive tackle from Wisconsin. Uh, and then we have Marshawn Lattimore going to the Saints. So that's only two that have picked the correct pick so far. Then the okay. Cleveland Browns would pick George Kittle. The Cardinals got one correct. They picked Buda Baker. Yeah, that was a nice pick. Absolutely. Although the Cardinals would land Buda Baker in the second, second round, round, they swooped early too. to secure him in the 2017 NFL redraft. Uh, who else? And then Chris Godwin at 16 to the Baltimore mm-hmm. Ravens. I like those. I love the redraft Me too. stuff. Me too. What would be a really good NFL re- Like 20... 2018? Three, three left in Jersey 5, which is the uh, triple. Triple Jersey. Three left. Three left in the triple. Okay. I got a redraft from the 2018 draft. The original pick, number one overall, Baker Mayfield to the Cleveland Browns. In this redraft, they have Lamar Jackson going number one uh, overall. Funny. The easiest selection of this entire redraft was the first selection. How could it be anyone but Lamar Jackson? And uh, didn't he go with the last pick? Yeah, in the first in round. The first round. He did. Uh, the New York Giants picked Saquon. The New York Jets at three picked Quinton Nelson, where in originality they took Sam Darnold. And that was the year Josh Allen went. Correct. And, yeah, Lamar, Sam Darnold, Josh Allen, Baker Mayfield. Uh, there's another one, too. There's one more. Oh, remember Josh Rosen? Josh, Josh Rosen. Did Josh Rosen? Yeah, yeah, right. He Rosen and Arizona. Darnold. Yeah, yeah. He went to Arizona. Gosh, Josh Rosen is not like a nice third team. Oh, I don't, I, even, I don't even know if he's in the NFL. He's terrible. He never panned out. Gosh. He was terrible for Arizona. I remember um, there was, you know, they, the, the pre-draft stuff had questioned his commitment. I think he's, I think it's Josh Rosen who came from... You know, real high, you know, upper class family. That's absolutely and, correct. Right. And I remember his draft stock. I'm not saying that's the reason why he's been bad at football, the NFL, but um, yeah. absolutely, he came from a wealthy family. Kind of wanted things handed, I suppose. Right. I mean, that's how you're raised. Yeah, that's the reputation, if, if fairly or not, I guess. Yep. Um, yep. But. Man, the Buffalo Bills would still pick Josh Allen here at seven. The Chicago Bears at 8, we picked Roquan Smith. Uh, I still agree with that pick. Uh, they say we would have picked Bradley Chubb. Could you imagine a pass rush duo of Chubb and Khalil Mack? Smith has been solid for Chicago, but there's no way the Bears pass up the opportunity to add excellent pass yeah, rusher agree. and Chubb. I agree. Um, the Cardinals would then pick Sam Darnold, and who knows if they would have picked Kyler Murray. That changes that. Didn't Darius Leonard and... Uh... The Niners linebackers that Fred Warner, Fred Warner also went in that draft like in the second round. Yep, Darius Leonard was a second round pick. Uh, the Colts would select Darius Leonard at six in the redraft. Yeah, here. The Colts killed that draft. We, they we killed, talked about they it. Killed it. Quentin they killed. They got and Quentin Nelson, Darius Leonard. Leonard. Wow. Their their third pick was Braden Smith. Jeez. All right. It's a great team. Got another word, right? The ghost. Doug, thank you. How many spots Thanks, left, Joe? Let me get that break. We in. have uh, two left oh, we're gonna in the finish, jersey. We're going to finish that up. Let's yeah, finish we, we that up. Let's let's break that triple jersey. Can't leave it till tomorrow. Let's see. How about the 2019 draft? 2019 NFL redraft. Oklahoma 19. quarterback Kyler Murray, number one. Well, the first two haven't changed. Kyler Murray, then Nick Bosa. Nick Bosa's awesome, by the way. Yeah, yeah, he is. Yeah. Uh, then the New York Jets would pick Josh Allen, who's edge rusher. They picked Quinn and Williams. Oakland Raiders would pick Josh Jacobs. Even though they got him anywhere in the second round. That's interesting. I, I wonder why they would do that. Not a lot of people have uh not a lot of people have changed in this okay, rendition still, of the region. Early two. Ooh, they have the Buffalo Bills taking A.J. Brown hmm. in the redraft and not Ed Oliver. Okay. Yeah. Denver Broncos would pick Drew Locke. They originally picked Devin Bush, and then they traded. So where do they have Drew Locke going? Oh. To Denver. Are, I mean, what, what pick overall? Ten. 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 Cincinnati Bengals would pick D.K. Metcalf. He went late, D.K. He, he was second round Second round right? guy, yeah. Because I think in large part because he had, did he have a, um, he had bad, uh, some medical issue. 
He also, they questioned his route running okay. in college. They questioned his route running pretty hard. I don't know why. I bet well, I mean, now every... he's such a beast athletically. I mean, you know, physically. So I could see, I, don't, I, don't even, I, mean, I couldn't tell you, is he a great route runner today? I don't know, but he's such a dynamic athlete. I'm sure that he is fine at route running. <laughs> Let me give you an update, Joe. Two minutes and 26 seconds left to go in the Gonzaga. They're playing uh, N-O-R-F. That is, um, hold on. Get the full name. Norfolk State. Okay. Gonzaga, 26-0. Norfolk State. The line was 33. Gonzaga leads 97-49. to They are up by 48 points. 40, okay. The backup sister that came in and, and done well. Showed, showed that we can play yep. too. Yep. Yep. Um, the full box score. Who's our best player? Uh, we have. Who's our best player? There is. Two spots left still in Jersey Five. There's some good players on this team. Yeah, Jalen Suggs is good freshman. Let's make it out of St. Paul, Minnesota, good, good player, good freshman. They have a, they have another kid named Joel Ayai, Joel Ayai, A Y A Y I, good player. Um, another kid, Corey Kispert. Reggie Miller said he moved in for March. A lot of ads. All right. All right. Got another order in. Who's gonna close us out in this jersey? One more. Who's gonna do it? One more. Thank you, Anthony, for jumping in. Triple jersey. One more. All right. Seven spots taken. One left <laughs> in the triple jersey at 66. <laughs> Ryan says, come on, Eddie Lacy, step up. <laughs> we were, there was a joke last night. So a guy who plays in the room, chats with us, his name is Canyon Schuster. You may recognize yeah, yeah. the name. He is friends with Eddie Lacy. Is he? He is good friends with Eddie Lacy. I'll be darned. Joe, I got a good hockey trivia for you. Ooh. Let's see how many you can get. Okay. So this is the quiz.com has the hardest NFL, NHL quiz ever. Okay. So we have... I don't know. Some of these are ridiculous, like specific years who had this many points in this year. So I'll skip those. How many regular season points does Wayne Gretzky have? 278, 9, 2, 8, 4, 5, 2, 8, 3, 2, 8, 5, 7. Oh my gosh. Those are like all tightly together there. Oh, yeah. They're all within you know, 50 of each other, 60 years. One that you mentioned, you and you are correct, that Wayne Gretzky could have gone his entire National Hockey League without scoring a goal, and he would still be the all time leading scorer. In, in NHL history. That is absurd. It really is. That is one of the and most I know, look, like, incredible I know feats People talk like, ah, Lemieux is better. And, all. and, like, I get it. But, and the game is totally different today. You know, Gretzky scored 200 points, like, multiple times. And that would never happen. I mean, you, you score 120 today, and it's absurd. Um, but. That is so, insane. Yeah, I would be... What are the numbers again? 2,000. 2,789, 2,803, 2,845, or 2,857. I'm going to say uh, C. 2,845. Yeah. That is two, it was 2,857. I mean, that's a uh, tough guess. Yeah, that, that'd be. All right. Which head coach has won the most Stanley Cups? Um, Scotty Bowman. It's got to be Ron. Scotty Bowman, right? That is Scotty Bowman. Immediately. Didn't even know, need to know the answers. Here we go. Is another good one. Wayne Gretzky holds the record for most regular season assists. Who is second? One of the answers. Is it, is it Gretzky? Regu Wayne Gretzky holds the record for most regular season assists. Yeah. Who is second? Well, I'm, I'm thinking, does he hold the top? Oh, the one and two? No, the no. Second. There's a different it's not, guy. It's not. We got, well, I think we filled it out, by the way. Here. We got Ron Francis. We got Paul Coffey. We got Ray Bork. We got Mark Messier. I'm going to say Paul Coffey. That's incorrect. It's not Paul Coffey. It is Ron Francis. Is it really? <laughs> That's interesting because because Francis played a little later. Not not much. Well, they're probably close to similar in age. Yeah. But I'm thinking Ron Francis is a little younger than the great one. Jersey five. Oh, you know what? Maybe they're maybe they are the same age. 
So that's what I was kind of thinking because the era that Gretzky played in, yeah. compared to even like you know ten years later, the game was had fewer scoring. But anyway, Daniel Dredge filled us out here. Thank you, Daniel. Hall of Famer Adam Oates played which position? Oh, he was a center, playmaking centerman. That's correct. <laughs> why would they put that? In, so why would they put that in the hardest NHL quiz? Is he not a very I well known guy? He, is. Can he, he used to play with Brett Hall when they were with the Blues. But Adam Oates was. Uh... Ryan Burke says Francis. I'm, he's talking about uh, Ron Francis played with the Whalers, which didn't help. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. I like that Ryan knows a little bit of hockey. No, I just like it. Uh, Nathan says, who's your favorite NBA team? My favorite NBA team is Chicago Bulls. Yeah, Chicago Bulls, Bulls fan fans. by association. Okay, uh, I like individual players. I like to watch certain guys. I like uh, I like Russell Westbrook a lot. I think Russell Westbrook yeah. is cool. Um, Adam Oates played for Boston big time. Oh, Reinberg, big time hockey guy. I love that. Cool. Which player has, won, has the Dubois honor of being the all-time leader in penalty minutes? Is it... Is it- is it Dave Schultz? No, no, I, I'm going to change my mind. Tiger Williams. It is Tiger Williams. It's Tiger Williams. <laughs> that is incredible. Dave Tiger Williams. Let's get uh, that list updated. We'll get that list updated right now. We'll do that yeah. jersey number five. Okay, Joe, Tiger Williams is a sweet name. Isn't it? That's cool. Yeah, his name is Dave. Dave Williams, but Tiger Williams. Dave isn't. You that forget cool. there's another Tiger. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Another athlete named Tiger. <laughs> right. Um. Yeah. He if he signed a helmet, he could probably sign it like LT does his uh, R-rated. He'd be like, Tiger Williams was a blank, 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 blank. <laughs> right. That's true. Because he was a bad. He was a tough dude. Former Canuck. He must. He must have played with multiple teams. <laughs> Here's a good question, and you might get this Joseph Blackhawks related one. Which record does Chris Chelios hold? Most minutes in a regular season, most games played in a season, most minutes in the playoffs, or most games played in the playoffs? Oh, that's a good one. What was the one? Most games played? Most like regular season? Yeah, most regular season games played, most minutes in a regular season, most minutes in the playoffs, or most games played? I'm going to say um, minutes. First one. Most minutes played. Most games played in the playoffs. Games played? That, see, that's a good trivia question. That is a good trivia. Chelios played until his mid-40s. That's epic. Uh, at least. He made, yeah, he was, he was amazing. Remember the Blackhawks, when they got rid of him, they thought he was <laughs> pretty much done, and then he played another 10 years in the league or something. Brian Burris says most beers drank. <laughs> was he a drinker? He, he could party. A lot of those hockey guys could party. I'm sure they can. But Chelios was an amazing partier. physical <laughs> specimen. And he was still a partier. Yes. It's interesting. Yeah. But, you know, the truth of the matter is, like, when you're an athlete and you're, you're playing, you could eat more and consume more because you're burning the calories right. all the time. You don't even realize how many calories you're burning. During an NHL game, I'm sure that you burn thousands. Nuts. I've never yeah. skated, but I know that it's hard. That's why people say, like, like why are the shifts so short? Like, a, a hockey shift is like 30 seconds. Right. Uh, these guys are elite athletes, but you should be going hard for 30 seconds. It's time to get off the ice. Yep. But some guys forwards who don't. So like, defense, you, know, those. you hear all the time, like, well, he's been out there for a long shift. Yeah. He's been out on the ice for like seconds. 45 seconds. Yeah, like, get off the ice. Let's go. Like, we got fresh legs in for you yes, right now, buddy. Got it. Ryan Burke said he's the Wade Boggs of hockey. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh, there's Owen with his hot take. I love a nightly <laughs> Owen Norman hot take. You Are you fond of those? What happens with those? Owen Norman in the chat will just pop in. I, I don't know. I don't know if he plays in the breaks. Not sure if he ever has. I know that Owen will just pop in. He'll give a crazy random uh, hot take, usually way off, and he'll just dip out. I love it. It's one of my favorite parts of every night. Oh, I think he did the, uh, the Gretzky's not the greatest player, he and then did, boom. He did that. That's, I remember he just, that. He just put that in the chat. He, he said, <laughs> Gretzky's so bad, he would score 20 goals in today's game. Ovi yeah. is better than Gretzky all day. I love that. See you, Owen. Thanks, bro. <laughs> Owen, you're the man. Keep that up. It's, seriously, it's fun. I like it. Just it, it just it's good stuff. Oh, it's good. First hit, we're going to the G-Man. We have a Giants running back, Brandon Jacobs. Ryan Berg, nice hit, dude. Ryan has three spots in the triple jersey break. Good dub. Good dub. Good dub. Brandon Jacobs. Ryan, good hit, my man. Jacob. 
Jacobs. Okay. Good running back for a while, mm -hmm. though. Yeah, right? us. Strong guy. Strong, yeah. Kind of yeah. like that, I'm going to run you over mentality, mm -hmm. right? 33. Uh, Kyle, he did win a Super Bowl, if I'm not mistaken. He might have won the Super Bowl with oh, Eli Manning. Oh, I bet that, that sounds right. 33 of 50. Here we go. Thirty-three of fifty. We have ourselves a oh nice throwback. Denver Bronco. We have the seventy eighties all decade team member, wide receiver, punt returner, kick returner, Mr. Rick Upchurch. He has a nice auto. Mm -hmm. Rick Upchurch, shiny little orange throwback. Denver Broncos hit, Mr. Rick Upchurch. Go to the AFC West for Anthony Ibarra. Anthony, good hit, dude. A little bit of history with this stuff. Yeah, Kylan, I think he was part of that undefeated Pats defeating team. If I'm not mistaken with that David Tyree, Tyree catch. Yeah. Eli Manning led the team to success. Joe, is Eli Manning a Hall of Famer? I was just going to ask you that. I seriously, I'm like, <laughs> the two Super Bowls. <laughs> Help your case. I'll tell you this. Eli Manning is not a first ballot Hall of Famer. No, I, I would agree on that. But will, matter, will he, he squeak get in his way in? Maybe. Like when you're 40, Rollins, will he be now getting into the Hall of Fame? <laughs> <laughs> JSAC, I don't even know what I'll be doing yet. <laughs> Still be doing some box breaking. <laughs> Going to the NFC East yet again. This guy who uh, seems to be playing year after year after year. Still going strong in the NFL, Deshaun Jackson. Deshaun Jackson caught passes from Michael Vick for the Eagles. Now he's catching passes from Jalen Hurts. <laughs> Quite some time in the NFL, Mr. Deshaun Jackson. Still returns punts and kicks. Ryan, nice hit, dude. Is that Ryan Bird again? Ryan? Oh, I'm telling you, Joe. Dang. When I break and Ryan plays... Ryan wins. You call it. I think Sean Norman, didn't you point out, Sean, that what Deshaun Jackson has the most career 60-yard-plus touchdown passes? Was that the... Uh, yeah, the, what's the that stat? That was, that was a cool nugget, yeah. Number. What, what is that stat, Sean? He has the most 60-yard touchdowns in NFL history. Is that it? Thank you, Ryan. <laughs> Foles has a better chance of making the hall than Eli. <laughs> <laughs> well, neither of them will he be has getting one in. Super Bowl. Neither of them will be making it then. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Thank you so much for all the support here for the UA Live Break. Just about 10.30 p.m. It's quite the show. A lot of fun, guys. We opened a lot of boxes. We talked a lot of sports. Talked a lot in general. Said a lot of words. <laughs> guys, thank you again so much for the support. We will have a day full of breaks tomorrow. Two breaks, one at two, one at eight, with myself and Garrett all day long. Joe, thank you very much for joining us. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you, Dottie. Thanks, everyone. Yep, absolutely, guys. We're going to sign it off right there. Until tomorrow at 2 p.m., guys, everybody stay safe, take care, and we thank you guys very much. We'll see you guys tomorrow.